A Backward Glance by Henry Lawson. It is well when you've lived in clover to mourn for days gone by. Could I live the same life over? Could I live again? Not I. But now I'm forward from the real, I would strive to escant. I would seek out my boyhood's ideal and follow it to the end. A Glimpse of Boyhood by Henry Lawson. Boys out there by the western creeks to hurry away from school, to climb the spurs of breezy peaks or dive in the shaded pool. A Maid Can Do No Wrong by Henry Lawson. We we'll learned the creed of hunger for we learned the creed of work. We we'll learned it in the good times and learned it out of work. We we'll learned it by the harbour's side and on the billabong. No matter what a maid may do, a maid can do no wrong. It's like a king's respect, no matter what they do, and king like shares in storm and shine the throne of life of you. We learned it when we were in goal and put it in a song. No matter what a maid may do, a maid can do no wrong. And say he said a bitter word, then he's away or dead. You're loyal to his memory, no matter what he said. And we should never hesitate, but strike out good and strong, and try to slender on the jaw, a maid can do no wrong. May Night on the Mountains by Henry Lawson It's a wonderful time when these hours begin, these long, small hours of light, when grass is crisp and the air is thin and the stars come close and bright. The moon hangs caught in a silver veil, or clouds of steel are grey, the heart called blue, the sky grows pale and wonderful milky way. There's something wrong with the star of ours, a mortal plank unsound, I cannot be charged to the mighty powers who guide the stars around. For man is higher than bird or beast, a wisdom is still his boast, he surely resembles nature least, the things that vex her most. Or say some use of a larger star, some use of the universe, if they you people those planets far better than we or worse, I are exempted from deaths and births, and have a greater powers and greater heavens and greater earths, greater gods than ours. Our lies vary us and our truth their truth, are they cursed for pleasure's sake, do they make the hells and the reckless youth, or they know what hells they make? Do they toil for each very hour till the tedious day is o'er, or food gives but fleeting power to toil and strive for more? A prouder man than you, by Henry Lawson. If you fancy that your people came of better stock than mine, if you hint of higher breeding by word or by sign, if you're proud because of fortune or the clever things you do, when I play no second fiddle, I'm a prouder man than you. If you think that your profession has for more gentility, and that you are condescending to be seen along with me, if you notice that I'm shabby while your clothes are spruce and new, you have only got to hint it, I'm a prouder man than you. If you have a swell companion when you see me on the street, and you think that I am too common for your tony friend to meet, so that I, and passing closely, fail to come within your view, and you blind for me forever, I am a prouder man than you. If your character be blameless, if your outward past be clean, what is now my antecedents are not what they should have been, do not risk condemnation, save your name whatever you do, birds of feather fly together, I am a prouder bird than you. Keep your patronage for others. Golden station cannot hide friendship that can laugh at fortune, friendship that can conquer pride. Of of this is to an equal, let me see that you are true. My worn of pride is shattered. I am not so proud as you. A Song of the Republic by Henry Lawson Sons of self, a rake arise. Sons of self, and do. Banish from under your bony skies most old world errors and wrongs and lies. Making a hell in a paradise that belongs to your sons and you. Sons of self make choice between sons of self chose true. The land of the morn and the land of the yin, the old dead tree and the young tree green, the land that belongs to the lord and the queen, the land that belongs to you. Sons of self, your time will come, sons of self to sneer, the signs of the times in the language dump, for tell it, and ominous whispers hum, like sullen sounds of a distant drum in the ominous atmosphere. Sons of self aroused at last, sons of self are few. But your ranks grow longer and deeper fast, you should swell to an army vast, and free from the wrongs of the northern past, the land that belongs to you. After all, by Henry Lawson, the brooding ghosts of Australian night have gone from the bush and town, my spirit revives in the morning breeze, though it died when the sun went down. The river is high and the stream is strong, and the grass is green and tall, and the fane would think that this world of ours is a good world after all. The light of passion in my dreamy eyes and a page of truth will read. A glorious thrill in the heart grown cold of a spirit I found was dead. A song that goes to a comrade's heart and the tear of pride let fall. And my soul is strong and the world to me is a grand world after all. Let our enemies go by their altered all tricks and theirs be the fault or shame. The man is bitter against the world who has only himself to blame. Let the darkest side of the past be dark and only the good recall. For I must believe that the world, my dear, is a kind world after all. 
It well may be that I saw to plain, and it may be I was blind, but I keep my face in the dawning light, while the devil may stand behind. While the devil may stand behind my back, I will not see a shadow fall, but read the signs and the morning stars of the good world after all. Rest for your eyes, the very girl, you have driven the worst away. The ghost of a man that I might have been is gone from my heart today. We live for life and the best it brings till our twilight shadows fall. My heart grows brave and the world, my girl, is a good world after all. All Ashore by Henry Lawson Rattling donkey Jesus, the bell says we must part, you long slab of good nature and poetry and art. I miss your smile in Sydney, we miss your carefree air, where carefree airs are needed and grins are growing rare. Good health, good pay, good liquor and good pails night and day. Good morning and good evening, God bless you, Hugh McRae. An Australian Advertisement by Henry Lawson we want the man who will lead the van, the man who will pioneer. We have no use for gentlemen or the cheating cheapjack here. We have no room for the man who shriek, the sweet of the bro. We have the men who are frightened to look for work and funk when it looks for them. None of the men who can't afford to wait for a job that suits, and sticks a swag on his shoulders broad and his feet in bludger boots, and tramps away over ridges far and out of the burning sand to look for work if the stations are in the lonely western land. You brave, drove you brave for rain and fight his sorrows down, and help to garden the inland plain and build the inland town, and he'll be found in the coming years of the hardest firm and stout, an old man with pioneers who let the people out. And what have you to say, by Henry Lawson? I mind the days when ladies fair held on my overcoat and tucked the silken handkerchief about my precious throat. I used to see the poet's soul in every song I wrote. They pleaded hard, but I had work to do, and could not stay. I used to work the whole night through, and what have you to say? It was clever, handsome woman when, and I were a rising star. I could not see you were worshipping me, because I saw too far. As well for one or two, I think, but things are as they are. I used to write for writing's sake, I used to write till day. I love my prose and poetry, and what have you to say? That she would gasp to think she ever knew a thing like me, and down the street I slink and trembling catch from some old pole the tray bit for a drink. I used to drink with gentlemen to pass an hour away. I drink long beers and common bars, and what have you to say? But often in the darkest night, and tis a wondrous thing, when I see the devil's dance, I hear the angels sing, and round to drunkard's lonely bed, heaven's nurses whispering. I wrote for truth and write alone, I wrote from night to day, I find a drunken pauper grave, and what have you to say? Good night, good day, my noble friends, and what have you to say? And he's gone with cattle, by Henry Lawson. Or oh, and he's gone to battle now, against draw to red murder. Or oh, and he's gone with cattle now, across the Queensland border. He's left us in dejection now, our hearts with him are roving. It's done on this selection now, since Annie went a droving. Who now shall wear the cheerful face in times when things are slackest? Who shall riz around the place and fortune frowns the blackest? Or who shall check the squatter now when he comes round us snarling? The sun is growing hotter now, since Annie crossed the darling. The gates are out of order now, and storms the riders rattle. Who far across the border now, Annie's gone with cattle. But aren't he's looking thin and white, Uncle's cross with glory, and poor old bloodshed holds at night since Annie left Macquarie. Oh, may the shores and torrents fall, and all the tanks run over, and may the grass go green and tall and pathways of a drover, and may good angels send rain and desert stretches sandy, and when the summer comes again, would grant to bring us Andy. Andy's return, by Henry Lawson. With pannikins all rusty, and Billy burned and black, and gloves all torn and dusty, but scarcely hide his back. A sun cracked saddle leather, and not green hide rain, and face burned brown with weather, or Andy's home again. As unkempt hairs faded, of sleeping in the wet, he's looking old and jaded, but he's hardy yet. With eyes sunk in the sockets, but merry as of yore, with big cheeks and pockets, and Andy's home once more. On uncle's bright and cheerful, and worse a smiling face, and on his never tearful, nor Andy's around the place. Old bloodshot barks for gladness. He broke the rusty chain, and leaped in joyous madness when Andy come again. With tales of flood and famine on distant northern tracks, and jetty yarns of the gammon of dealings with the blacks, from where the skies sing lazy, on many northern plain, regions dim and hazy, are Andy's home again. His toil is nearly over, he'll soon enjoy his gains. Long he'll be a drover and cross the lonely plains. He'll happy be forever, and he'll no longer roam, but by some deep, cool river will make us all a home. As far as your rifles cover, by Henry Lawson. 
Do you think, you slaves of a thousand years to poverty, that in pride you can crush a spirit that has been free in a land that's new and white? And you've scattered the last of the farmer bands, and the war for a while is over. You will hold the land, I will hold the land, the land that your rifles cover. Till your gold has leveled each mountain range where a wounded man can hide. Till your gold has lighted the moonless night of the plains where the rebels ride. Till the future has proved that the past is brighter from the sun of the land's dead lover. You may hold the land, you may hold the land, just as far as your rifles cover. As Good as New by Henry Lawson Oh, this is a song of the old lights that came to my heart like a hymn. And this is a song for the old lights, the lights that the fort grew dim, that came to my heart to comfort me, and I pass it along to you. And yes, hand to the good old friend who turns up as good as new. And this is a song for the campfire out west where the stars shine bright. And this is a song for the campfire, the old maid's yarn tonight. The old maid's yarn of the old days, and their numbers are all too few. And this is a song for the good old times that will turn up as good as new. And this is a song for the old foe, we have both grown wiser now. And this is a song for the old foe, and we are sorry we had that row. And this is a song for the old laugh, the laugh that we fought untrue. And this is a song of the dear old laugh that comes back as good as new. And this is a song for the black sheep, for the black sheep that fled from town. And this is a song for the brave fart, for the brave fart that lifted down. And this is a song for the battler, for the battler who sees it through. And this is a song for a broken heart that turns up as good as new. And this is a song for the brave man, B. Bushman, Scott or Russ. A song for the maids we will stick to, for the maids who have stuck to us. And this is a song for the old creed, to do as as a man should do. Till the Lord takes us all to a wider world, we will turn up as good as new. At the beating of a drum by Henry Lawson, fear ye not the stormy future, for the battle him is strong, and the armies of Australia should not march without a song. The glorious words of music of Australia's song shall come when the true hearts rush together at the beating of a drum. We may not be there to hear it, it will be written in the night that Australia's foe shall fear it in the hour before the fight. The glorious words of music from a lonely heart shall come when our son shall rush to danger at the beating of a drum. He shall be unknown who writes it, he shall soon forgotten be, but the song shall ring through ages as a song of liberty. And I say the words of music of our Bethlehem shall come when Australia wakes in anger at the beating of a drum. Before we were married, by Henry Lawson. Black soil plains, a grey soil, grey soil in the drought. Fifteen years away and five hundred miles out, Swag and Bag and Billy carried all our care. Before we were married, they wished that I were there. River banks were grassy, grassy in the bends, running through the land the mateship never ends. Built the lazy fishing lines and drowned the time away, before we were married, they wished for were today. Working down the telegraph, winter's gales and rains, across the tumbled scenery of Marlboro Plains. Beach and bluff and cook's tent, and the cook was a cow, before we were married, but I wish that it was no. A rolling road to Melbourne, a grey-eyed girl in fur, one arm to a stanchion, and one round her. See the bath for skylight and the moon had set, before she was married, they wish it wasn't yet. Billy of Queensland by Henry Lawson Queensland, he had his letters, that's all, the date and the month and the year in brief. He often sends me cheerful scrawls of an undertone of ancient grief. The first seems familiar, but might have changed, soften writing of wondrous will. It seems all over the world to have ranged, designs himself William or Billy or Bill. It might have been an old mate of mine, a share, or one of the station hands. A worse some of them died, who dropped me a line, signing other names and other hands. I was one who carried a swag with me on the western tracks, the world was young and always sporting democracy in another land with another tongue. It cheers me up like an old mate, quiet, and swears at times like an old mate, too. Perhaps he knows that I never write except to say what I'm going to. He says he's tired of telling lies, for blank he knows for goy scamp, but an outward home of a sunset dies on the outside track of a cattle camp. Who are you, Billy? But never mind. Come to think of it, I have forgot. I was so many in days behind, not so true, but it matters not. It may be out in the Lugas Club, in the South and Seas, or London Street. I hope it's close to a bar pub, and I have a feeling that you shall meet. Morning, New South Wales, the Henry Lawson. It truly cannot be too soon, and never is too late. It tones of all Australia's tune to praise one's native state. And so bring an old refrain from days of post and rails, and if the good old words again for sunny New South Wales. She bore me on attended fields, all my youth away, and gold of all she yields to pace my toil today. A track and camp in Bushman's hut, the streets where couch fails, I've sung for Australia, but my heart's in New South Wales. I run far the wettle where and all the glory grow, with the bloom on hills elsewhere I'm not supposed to know. The tales that ever states mid hell, I never hear the tales, 
or I, her son, have sinned as well as bonnie New South Wales. Only in her heart as good as sweeter than to mate, a pregnant with all nation from sunset to the gate. And now her son sail home on every ship that sails, or round the world ten times as round from dear old New South Wales. Break o' day by Henry Lawson. You love me, you say, and I think you do, with now so many who don't. And who can I say I'll be true to you when I know very well that I won't? I've journeyed long my goal as far, a laugh but I cannot bite, for as sure as rises the morning star, the break of day I'll ride. I was doomed to ruin or doomed to marvel how wherever I stay, I think of you as the morning star, and they call me break of day. And well might have named me the fall or night, for dear's a trick I mark, but I laugh her girls and I laugh the light, for I my tribe for dark. You may laugh, my dear, for a day and night, you may cast your life aside. But as sure as the morning star shines bright, for break of day I ride. I was never a lover so proud and kind, I was never a friend so true, and the song of my life I have left behind at the heart of a girl like you. I was never so deep or cruel or wrong in the land that is far away, I was never so bitter a broken heart that rout of the break of day. God bless you, dear, with your red gold hair, keep it tying eyes of grey. My heart forbids that the stars of fear should be marred with break of day. Live on, my girl, as the girl you are. Be good and true man's bright, for sure as beacons the evening star, with the fall of night I ride. I was born to ruin or born to marve, how wherever I light. I wish that you were the evening star, but I were the fall of night. Bush Hay by Henry Lawson The stamp of Scotland is on his face, but he sailed to the south a lad. He does not think of the black bleak hills and the bitter hard youth he had. Thinks of a near and rear past, and red land far away, and the teams went up and the teams come down, and the days, and the days when they made bush hay. The far was rough, and the bush was grim, in the years of Spickle Marsh, and he gained the strength that is still the film in his hail, late middle age. He thinks of a girl at the half win, we used as a barn today, or she was a dumpling and he was thin, in the days when they made bush hay. The Asian teams to the Bethel's plains were often a fortnight full. And the branch of base in the early days, and back to the port with wool, and watched for the lights of old cop and co, and flashed to the west away, and rather drove six and twelve mile stage in the days when we made bush hay. He has made enough, and he sowed his claim, and he goes by the morning train from the goldfield town in the sultry west to his home by the sea again. We are bustling out of bodies expecting him, whose hair is gagged the grey, and she was a girl of half a house in the days when we made bush hay. But what's the use? By Henry Lawson. What's the use of writing bush, or it has demanded, or city folk and farming folk can never understand it? A blind of what the bushman sees, the best of eyes are tightest, all where the sun is hottest and the stars are most and brightest. A crow's at sunrise flopping around as some poor life has a rundown, a pair of emus trotting from the lonely tank of sundown, the snaky heads will up and eyes will out for man's manoeuvres, and feathers bobbing round behind like fringes around improvers. The swagman tramping across the plain, good lord, there's nothing sadder, except the dog that slops behind his master like a shadder. The turkey tail to scare the flies, water bag and billy, the nose bag getting cruel light, the traveller getting silly. The plain that seems to drag a ruse, like gentle slooping rises, the shrubs and tufts that smiles away but nagly fight in size, the track that seems to rise up, or else seems gently sloping, and just a hint of kangaroos way out across the open. The joy and hope the swagman feels, returning after shearing, or after six months' strength on back, he strikes a final clearing. His very spirit breathes again, his aching legs seem limber, and to the east across the plain he spots the darling timber. And what's the use of writing bush, where it is demanded? For city folk, they do not understand it. The blind of what the whaler sees, the best of eyes to shut tightest. Out the Australia is widest, the stars are most and brightest. Charlie Turner by Henry Laws and Charlie sing of Poland's death, to stir your heart and soul in. You'll grip your seat and hold your breath, and want to fight for Poland. Cinderella by Henry Lawson A lonely child with toil over text, sits Cinderella by the fire. Her limbs and weariness she relaxed, in her eyes a sad desire. But soon a riff is on her brow, bonny princess claimed her hand. She's as proud and happy now as any lady in the land. And then to see a fairy bride, to have granted what you would, he only needed to the right, he only needed to the good. And this was in the days of old, the man the wiser folk would bow. And though you were as good as gold, you'd never see a fairy now. Yet we must have managed well, only half the tales are true. One is tales the writers tell of what the fairies used to do. But now the world has grown so wise, it does for the fairies' aid. 
And who can find a prince that tries a shoe upon a beggar maid? It must have been a better time, and virtue always met its due, and wicked men who dealt in crime were punished by the fairies too. But never more will come again to give the good what we desire, and Cinderella's wait in vain, and we beside the kitchen fire. Dan wasn't thrown from his horse, by Henry Lawson. They say he was thrown and run over, at that it's sheer nonsense, of course. I taught him to ride when the kitty, and Dan wasn't thrown from his horse. The horse that Dan rode was a devil, the kind of a brute I despise, with nasty white eyelashes fringing a pair of red, sinister eyes. And a queerly shaped spot on his forehead that put a conical ball, the day that he murdered Dan Denver, the pluckiest rider of all. Was after the races were over, and dug a tiebreaker man, and two of the Denvers and Barney are trying to gallop with Dan. Dan's horse on a sudden got vicious, and reared up and plunged in the race, and threw back his head, hitting Dan like a sledgehammer, full in the face. Dan stopped and got down, stood a moment, and fell to the ground like a stone, and died about ten minutes after. But they are liars who say he was thrown. Down the River by Henry Lawson I have done with joys and misery, and why should I repine? There's no one knows the past but me and the old dog or mine. We can walk and camp and walk, and find it fairly good. He can do anything but talk, and he wouldn't if he could. We sits and thinks beside the fire before the stars shine, and no one knows our thoughts but me and that the dog or mine. We has our Johnny Cake and Scrick, and finds him fairly good. He can do anything but talk, and he wouldn't if he could. He gets a puzzle now and then, I cook it on the fire. He has his water, me my tea, what more could we desire? He gets a rabbit when he likes, he finds it pretty good. He can do anything but talk, and he wouldn't if he could. It has me smoke, he has his rest, the sunset's getting dim, and if I do get drunk at times it's all the same to him. So long he's got me swag to mind, he thinks the times is good. He can do anything but talk, and he wouldn't if he could. He gets his tucker from the cook, for cook is good to him. When I sober up a bit, he goes and has a swim. He likes the rivers where I fish, and all the world is good. He can do anything but talk, and he wouldn't if he could. Every man should have a rifle, by Henry Lawson. So I sit and ride and pawn another the house stiff and dump, seeing visions over yonder, for war now must come. In the corner, not a vision, but a sign for coming days, stand a box of ammunition, the rifle and green base. And in this, the living present, in a word go through the land, every tradesman, clerk and peasant should have these two things at hand. No, no ranting song is needed, and no meeting, flag of fuss, and a future still unheeded, shall the spirit come to us. Our feathers drum a riot on the day that is to be, he shall march down, let it cry to our stations by the sea. Of the bitter party, stifle every voice that warns of war, every man should own a rifle and of cartridges in store. Every one's friend, Henry Lawson. Nobody's enemy save his own, what shall it be in the end? Still by the nickname he is known, everyone's friend. Nobody's enemy stands alone, while he has money to lend. Nobody's enemy holds his own, everyone's friend. Nobody's enemy down and out, a game to the end, and he mostly dies of no one about, everyone's friend. Fall in, my man, fall in. By Henry Laws. The short hour's halt is ended, a red comes from the west. The broken wheel is mended and the dead man laid to rest. Three days have we retreated, with dreadful curse and grin, outnumbered and defeated, fall in, my men, fall in. Poor, very hungry sinners, past caring and past fear, the campfires of the winners are gleaming in the rear. Each day the front advances, each day the same old din, but freedom holds the chances, fall in, my men, fall in. The spare scout fingers searches, the sky's black ahead, the leaf and barns and churches are wounded and are dead. Through cold and rain and darkness, a mire that clocks like sin, and fail in its darkness, fall in, my man, fall in. We go, and now not a wire, nor see the tracks we go, or my gone shall tell us, a rain red light shall show. The wood and swamp and mountain, the long dark hours begin, before a fresh ones stiffen, fall in, my man, fall in. If old ones daddy aching, fall in, my man, fall in. See on the starlight breaking for rifts where storm clouds thin. See on the clear sky arcing with distant range upon. A plan while we are marching. Move on, my men, march on. Fighting Heart by Henry Lawson. Rolling out to fight for England, singing songs across the sea. Rolling north to fight for England, to fight for you and me. Fighting hard for France and England, where the storms of death are hurled. Fighting hard for Australasia and we are the world. Fighting hard. 
Fighting hard for sunny Queensland, fighting for banana land. Fighting hard for West Australia and for Mulga and for Sand. Fighting hard for plain and wool trick and for haze of western heat. Fighting hard for South Australia and for bronze fires wheat. Fighting hard. Fighting hard for fair Victoria and the mountain and the glen. And the memory of Eureka where the other churns win. For the glorious Gibson's forest and the world's great singing star. The irrigation channels where the cabbage gardens are. Fighting hard. Fighting hard for gale and earthquake, and the winds for portals between, for white flags and manuka and the dressed hills of green. Fighting hard for wooden homestead, with the mighty chorus stand. Fighting hard for fan and tussock, fighting hard for moria land. Fighting hard. Fighting hard for little Tessie, where the ever lodge grows, and the northern territory, just to give a place a show. Fighting hard for home and empire, where the commonwealth prevails, and in spite of all the blunder, dying hard for New South Wales, dying hard. Fighting for the pride of old folk, and the people that you know, and the girl you left behind you, and the time is passing slow. The proud tears of a sister, come you back or never come, and very elder brother looking after things at home, fighting hard, you lucky devils, fighting hard. For he was a jolly good fellow, but Henry Lawson, that cheered him from rough, it was a glorious day, as hand went to his scarf, his thoughts were far away, or he was jolly good, they sang it long and loud, the money lenders stood unknown amongst the crowd. He taking him aside, while trembling fit to fall, a friendly eye espied the last farewell of all. He had a peevish kid, another at his knee, a wife whom he could bid farewell, eternally stood nagging at his side, in tones that none could hear, and dear him, tender-eyed, and passengers come near, the cabin waits below the row and children's squall, not a soul to know the bitter farce of all. The hearts were good as gold, each pockets bare the tray, the pulled them as of old to drink him on his way. The pill of luggage rose as bravely as the best, he two suits of clothes, his wife and kids the rest. It stood him up, for fear of seeming small, he was thinking of the worst for well of all. We cheered from cargo ways and ballast heap and pile, who last the smallest days, we sent him off in style. He only took his book, he only turned his head in one last hopeless look toward a cargo shed, who once stood brimming eyed in silence by the wall, a jealous eyes aspired that last for well of all. The ship is out of sight and out of memory clean, is rolling for by on board of the old serene. As hearts like half a brick, the voice of hope is dumb. His handicapped and sick for fear of what's to come. A passing care review, the half brick starts to fall. But with a fiendish grin, he curses land all. Grey wolves grey, by Henry Lawson. Russian marches soft and slow, for dust and heat or slush and snow. And Russian skies hang grey and low, to the front as far where the Russians go. The march tonight and the march today, like a grey wolf's grey, like a grey wolf's grey. No song or sound by track the wheels, save a cheeseless clock of the wagon shields. But a rift in the mist shows a glint of sun on the long dark shape of a toiling gun. And they strain by night and they drag by day to distant goal like a grey wolf's grey. As the horses toil at the ends of trains and the ends of roads and the blacks for plains. And even digs in the frozen clay and the roads or logs are bad to lay. Or gun that's five hundred miles away but it should come as a grey wolf's grey. Is marching on with purpose grand, for brother's left in another land, whose tongue perchance he cannot understand, but he knows a cry from the far away, he smells of blood like a grey wolf's grey. And Ivan's wife in a den at home, will hunger long since his lean wolves come, for grey black bread like the darling mud, that he breaks bone with bullock's blood, she shields her cups by night and day, like of a grey wolf's grey. The march of Ivan where it be, with the fallen blood that is strong on me, and the love and the hate that is fantasy like a ghost of father's memory. The blood that is strange to us today, the strange wild blood of grey wolves grey. Grey wolves, grey wolves, the strange wild blood of grey wolves grey. He's gone to England for a wife, by Henry Laws. He's gone to England for a wife among the ladies where, and to know a less he deemed the rarest of a rare. He's gone to England for a wife, and rich and proud is he. He was poor and toiled for bread, and first he courted me. He said I was the best on earth, he said I was his life, no things of noble birth and seeks a lady wife. He said for me alone he'd toil to win an honest fame, but now no less on south and soil is worthy of his name. I think I see his lady bright, a fair and faultless face, and nothing in her heart beside the empty pride of race. And she will grace his guild at home, where wife as gold shall buy, but will she ever dream of him, or laugh as well as I? His brother's keeper, by Henry Lawson. By his pass for the parching desolation, hot rides of the terrible tramps, by the hunger, the thirst, the privation of his work in the furthermost camps. By his worth and the light which shall reach men and prove I, and justify each, 
a place in front of all churchmen who feel not, who knows not, but preach. I tell you what you wonders by Henry Lawson. I tell you what you wonders who drift from town to town. Don't look into a good girl's eyes until you've settled down. It's hard to go away alone and leave old chums behind. It's hard to travel steerage when your tastes are more refined. Reach a place when times are bad to be standing there. No money in your pocket, no decent rack to me. But you force on that fond clasp, or that last clinging kiss by poverty. There's on earth no harder thing than this. Days when we are dead, by Henry Lawson. Listen, the end was nearer, nearer the morning or night. And I see the vision clear of the beginning was right. We shall be words to remember when all has been done and said. My fame is a dying ember in the days when I am dead. Listen, we rode in sorrow, and we rode by candlelight. We took no heed of the morrow, and the thing that we were right. Tomorrow, but not the day after, and the thing that we were right. We rode of the world that was human, and we rode of blood that was red. For child or man or woman, remember when we are dead. Listen, we rode not for money, and listen, we rode not for fame. We rode for the milk and the honey of kindness, and not for a name. We paused not, nor fought it for any, or many fell back where we led. We rode of a few for the many, remember when we are dead. We suffered as few men suffer, yet laughed as few men laugh. We grin as a road grows rougher, and a bitterer cup we quaff. We lived for right and for laughter, we fought for nation ahead. Remember it frenzy after, in the years when I am dead. For tomorrow, and not the day after, for a cess and a nation ahead. In the street, by Henry Lawson, where the needlewoman toils through the night of hand and brain, till the sickly daylight shudders like a sceptre at the pain, till her eyes seem to crawl and the brain seems to creep, the limbs are all a-tremble for want of rest and sleep. It is where the firebrand blazes in my blood, and it is where they see the crimson banner of the children of despair. But I feel the soul and music in a rebel's battle song, and the greatest love for justice and the hottest hate for wrong. And the foremost in his greed presses heavy on the last, and a brutal spirit rising from the graveyard of the past, and the poor are trodden down, and rich are deaf and blind. It's where I feel the greatest love and pity for mankind, where the heart to heart is saying, of a tongue and lip be still. We've been fooled all and know it, brother, we've been through the mill, where the spirits of my brothers arise for higher for defeat, and rams of revolution roll forever in the street. Christ is coming once again, and his day is drawing near. He's leading on the thousands of the army of the rear, we shall now the second advent, by the lower skies aflame, with the signals of his coming, for he comes not as he come, but humble, meek, and lowly, as he come in days of old, but of hatred, the attribution for the worshippers of gold. In the roll of battle music and the steady tramp of feet, sound forever in the thunder and the rattle of the street. Ireland shall rebel, by Henry Lawson. By turns rule the land beneath the Irish skies, love the iron hand upon our people eyes. While sons had driven forth and other lands stood well, still in the south and north, old island will rebel, 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 old island will rebel. A fan like from below and pale against the skies, that light of shame, the glow of burning home shall, shall rise, while hot, indignant tears from Irish heart shall swell, be the thousand years, old island will rebel, 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 old island will rebel. Till the tyrant's rod shall broken be in twain, and on the dear old sod to blessed freedom treats again. Till our masters learn to rule our country well, the fires of hate shall burn. Our island will rebel, a rebel, rebel, or island will rebel. Knocking around by Henry Lawson, very old wife of Bucket and Co., host your son Jack, and where is he now? Haggard old eyes were turned to the west, boys will be boys in his corner with the rest. Grief of our tears and grief of our sound, some up country he's knocking around. Knocking around with the vagabond crew, does for himself the mother would do. Maybe in trouble and maybe hard up, maybe in want of a bite or a sup, dead of the fever or lost in the drought, lonely old mother, he's knocking about. A old man at a trail of a plow, heard of Jack lately, and where is he now? Pauses a moment, is forward to wipe, drops a rope reins when he feels for his pipe, scratches a grey head, saw or doubt. Somewhere or others he's knocking about, knocking about in the runs of a west, holding his arm for the worst and the best, breaking in horses and risking his neck. Driving a shearing and making a trip, straight as a sapling, six foot and sound. Jack is not right when he's knocking around. They were ears back and fight, by Henry Lawson. In the jingle of the poet's wraith about the sorrow's cup, and your mouth, in spite of laughing, gets a curve the wrong way up, 
nor a wine for help or pity, never crunch at fortune's frown. Lay your listeners back and fight until you find your sore stone. The world on empty pockets is at times a little harsh, and the weights of care clinging to the ends of your moustache. Never let your grief boil over, it is nothing to atone. Lay your listeners back and battle till you fight your sore stone. And the law of gravitation lays a hand upon your heart, and the slings and arse fetch ye air, and you feel em pretty smart. And you cannot find a billet, and you haven't half a crown. Lay your listeners heck and fight until you fight your sorrows down. And I guilt upon the future where the place is open. Look at it, there's nothing crooked. Try and summon up a grin. There's a mask that you must always put the other way around. Lay your listeners back a bit until you knock your sorrows out. Mary called him Mr. Henry Lawson. That parted but a year before, she never thought he'd come. She stammered, blushed, held out her hand and called him Mr. Gum. How could he know that all the way she longed to murmur John? He called her Miss Lebrook, asked as she was getting on. It parted but a year before, that loved each other well, and he'd been to the city and he'd come back such a swell. They longed to meet and fond embrace, so hungered for kissed, but Mary called him Mr. They did call her Miss. He stood and leaned against the door, a stupid chef was he. When she asked if he'd come in and have a cup of tea, he looked to left, he looked to right, and he glanced behind and slowly doffed his cabbage tree and said he didn't mind. She made a shy apology because the meat was tough, and when she asked if he was sure his tea was sweet enough, he stirred with he and sipped it twice and answered plenty quiet, and cut the smallest piece of beef and said that it was all right. She glanced at him at times and caught an awkward little cough. He stared at anything but her and said, I must be off. That evening he went riding north, a sad and lonely ride. She locked herself inside her room, and there sat down and cried. It parted but a year before, we loved each other well. But she was such a country girl, and he was such a swell. We longed to meet in fond embrace, we hungered for kiss. But Mary called him Mr., and we yet called her Miss. My father-in-law and I, Henry Lawson. My father-in-law is a careworn man, and a silent man is he. But he summons a smile as well as he can whenever he meets with me. The sign we make of a silent shake that speaks of days gone by, like men who meet at the funeral, my father-in-law and I. My father-in-law is a sober man, the virtuous man, I think, but we spare a shilling whenever we can, we both drop in for a drink. Our pins will fill and say, I will, of the sound of the world outside, like a drink that comes after your funeral, my father-in-law and I. My father-in-law is a kindly man, a domestic man, is he, and tries to look cheerful as well as he can whenever he meets with me. But he stand and think to the second drink, in a silence that might imply that we both get our funeral, my father-in-law and I. My land and I, by Henry Lawson. We have eaten the fill at your table spread, like friends since the land was won. A rise of a cry of Australia's dead, for we of Australia's done. And the theme is stale, but I tell the tale, a weak old tale will keep. I cross the crook on a splintered rail, I have gawked on rotten sheep. I would sing a song in your darkest hour, in your darkest hour and mine, where see the dawn of your wealth and power, to see your bright star shine. A little man yell, a little man lie, and we spread the lies afar. But we heed them never, my land and I, for we know how small they are. We know you're not in a poultry town, in the streets where great hopes die. Our heart will never flood could drown, and never drought could dry. Send forth from the rim where the red sun dips, song sun of land, sun sun. The grin of grit on your draw chipped lips and say, Is your country done? Send forth from the land where the sunset dies, but the desolate lonely shed, with a smile of faith in your blighted eyes and say, Is your country dead? The scene of future may know no past, the parasite cure and clown, who talk of ruin and death to last, when a man or a land is down. God sends for answer the rain, the rain, and the way on a western lease, when the this plain grows green again, and the fat in the stock increase. We look your rivers, my land, my land, dig lakes on the furthest run. we down in the corners where houses stand, where driver, Australia's done. The parasites dine at your table spread, as my enemies did at mine. And the croak and gurgle, Australia's dead, will gazzle Australian wine. And the heat from them, my land and land, for we know how small we are. And we see the signs of a future grant, as we gaze on the rising star. Ned's delicate way, Henry Lawson. It knew I was shorn of the buckle one day, and I was too proud to ask for it. I hated such pride, but his delicate way of waiting to take me to task for it. I loved to be catched to buckle from Ned, and I was just on the brink of it. I got a new brand of tobacco, he said. Try smoke when it's snow, what do you think of it? Never, never land, by Henry Lawson. 
A hot homestead and shearing shed, a railroad, court and track, where lonely graves were rest the dead, up country and out back, who were banned for clustered stars, the dreamy plains expand, my home lies with a thousand miles, and never, never land. It lies beyond the farming belt, a waste of scrub and plain, a blazing desert in the drought, a lake land after rain. To the skyline sweeps the waving grass, or whirls the scorching sand, a phantom land and mystic realm, the never, never land. Where lone mound desolation lies, once dreadful in despair, it is lost beneath the rain disguise and hopeless deserts there. It breeds no west by no man's land, where clouds are seldom seen, where the cattle stations lie three hundred miles between. The drovers of the great stock roads of strange gulf country nowhere, travelling from the south on roads, the piccolin bullocks go. And camp by night, the plains lie white like some old ocean's bed, the watchmen with starlight ride round fifteen hundred head. Lest in the city I forget a true mateship after all, my water bag and billing are hanging on the wall, and I to save my soul again would tramp to sunset's grant. I've said I'd mates across the plain in Never Never Land. New life, new love, Henry Lawson. And breezes blow on the river below, and fleecy clouds float high, the mark of the dark green gum trees match the bright blue dome of the sky. Rain has been and the grass as green have slopes of bay and brown. And I see things that I used to see in the days when my head went down. I found light in my long dark night, brighter than stars or moon. I've lost the fear of a sunset rear and the sadness of afternoon. Here let us stand while I hold your hand with lights on your golden head. I fear the thrill that I used to feel in the days when my heart was dead. The storms gone by, my lips are dry, and your wrong wrinkles yet, sweetheart or wife, I must take new life from your red lips warm and wet. So let it be you may cling to me, where is nothing on earth to dread, or I'll be the man that I used to be the day so my heart was dead. Nineteen nine by Henry Lawson There's a light out there in the nearer east in the dawn of nineteen nine. As the old ghost light on the salty yest, the black rocks meet the brine. Here's the same old strife and toil in vain, here's the same old hope and doubt, here's the same old useless care and pain, and the sea's my way out, my dear, the sea's my way out. This grey and a sad old sea for me, with a growing grey hat too. The hats were brown and the eyes were bright, and the sea was white and blue. It was round the world and home again, it could turn and turn about, and the sea means exile now in vain, and it sees my way out, my dear, it sees my way out. O oh, Cupid, Cupid, get your bow, the Henry Lawson. Arming down along the stream, along the sparkling water, and past the pool where lilies gleam, there comes the squatter's daughter. Eyes are kind and lips are warm and like a flower of faces, there which shows a bony form as graceful as the graces. I'll be mad of love, I know, my head she'll surely get it. Cupid, Cupid, get your bow and shoot her from the saddle. For like a bird on breezes weft, she quickly, quickly passes. Cupid, Cupid, draw your shaft and bring her to the grasses. Or she's worth a game for you, and there's none to match her. So Cupid, send your arrow true, and I'll be where to catch her. Old North Sydney by Henry Lawson A shifting Old North Sydney perhaps is just as well, a carding of the houses where the old folks used to dwell, the old ghosts inhabit, where lay the old shops low, a spirit of North Sydney had vanished long ago. A spirit of North Sydney, with good old time and style, as camped maybe at Crown's Nest, but only for a while. It left the boat for season, or at the time perhaps, an old inspector caught her, transferred his jokes and traps. A brand new crowd is thronging the brand new streets aglow with the spirit of North Sydney will gossip long ago. I will not know tomorrow or worry but yesterday exactly how McMahon's point and its fair used to lay. A good old friendly spirit, its soil would unfold, when householders were neighbours and shopkeeping was old. But now the busy strangers of feelings we restrain, a spirit of North Sydney shall never come again. Old tunes by Henry Lawson and friends are listening around me, direct to hear my dying breath. I'm lying in a sleep, they say, will end in death. Don't notice what the doctor says and let the nurse complain, tell you how to roast me if I'll ever wake again. Just you bring in your fiddle jack and set your heart in tune, and strike up any lorry or the rising of the moon. If you see no talking of a rising in my throat, you need to brace your mouth, old man, I'm booked by Sharon's boat. And if you are not satisfied that I'm off the scene, strike up the Marseillaise, or else the wearing of green. And should my fingers tremble not when I have crossed the line, I'll keep your fingers steady, Jack, and strike up old lang On looking through an old punishment book by Henry Lawson, I took the book of punishment and ran its columns down. I started with an open brown end of the throne. 
I noted long forgotten names that took me unaware. I noted old familiar names, but my names wasn't where. I thought of what I might have been, and how my heart was pained to find of all the scholars where that I was never kenned. I thought of wasted childhood hours, and a tear rolled down my cheek. I must have been a model boy, which means a little sneak. I give me back my youth again, Doc Faustus used to say. I only wish the powers could give my boyhood for a day. A model boy, beloved of girls, despised by boys and men. But it comforts me to think that I've made up for it since then. On the night train, Henry Lawson. You have seen the bush at moonlight for the train go running by. Black and long its stump and sapling, ghostly trees are dead and dry. Ye a patch of glassy water, there a glimpse of mystic sky. Have you heard the still voice calling, yet so warm and yet so cold? And the mother bush that bore you will come to me when you are old. You see the bush below, you sweeping darkly to the range, all unchanged and all unchanging, yet so very old and strange. Have you thought it softened anger for things that it is strange? Did you hear the bush calling when your heart was young and bold? And the mother bush that nursed you come to me when you are old. In the cutting of a tunnel out of sight of stock or shed, you hear the grey bush calling for the pine ridge overhead. You have seen the seas and cities, all is cold to you or dead. All seems done and all seems told, the grey light turns to gold. And the mother bush that loves you come to me now when you are old. Other side by Henry Lawson. Somewhere in a mystic future on the road to paradise, there's a very pleasant country that I've dreamed of once or twice. It has inland towns and cities by the ocean's rocky shelves, but the people of the country differ somewhat from ourselves. It is many league beyond us, and they call it otherwise, and there is among its people more humanity than pride. No social system never was complete without a flaw, and among the other siders there is love and golden war. But if only is fairly beaten, he can turn upon the track, for in such a case there isn't any shame in going back. A broken heart and mortal never thinks of suicide, but finds amongst his brothers more humanity than pride. And the lords of that creation never scoff of simple things, never scorn the lad who is feathered to his mother's absent strings. He would speak of home and mother, without shame when he is inclined. If the blow he strikes in battle, most leaves a mark behind. They are brave against invasion, they can die in our sight, or where is among the people more humanity than pride. Poets sing in simple language that a child might understand. It was songs are sung for ages by the elders of the land. And the people know that freedom never shall be wanting guards, and the foremost in the vanguard waves banner of bards. And the poets march together, and at home and peace abide, whereas amongst the people more humanity than pride. And when I am very, very neath the load of worldly care, there turns the knife for longing just to hunt my bluey wear. But alone I could not reach it, for a trick is bad to one. I must take the nations with me, or mankind must go, or none. And we trample one another on the way to our side, for I find among my brothers less humanity than pride. Outside by Henry Lawson. I want to be lightening my pipe on deck, the baggage is safe below. I want to be free of a crowded quay while the steamer is swinging slow. I want to be free of treachery and of solid joys and griefs, to be out of sight of the face wide and waving of handkerchiefs. I want to be making my shipboard friends, I want to be free of the past. I want to be laughing with kind words how it's for the heads are opening fast. I want to be sailing far today on the tracks where the rovers go, to feel the heave of the deck and the breath of the rovers know. Out of the ranges and into the west by Henry Lawson. And I was singing praise for sea girded isles, that give me the bush of its limitless miles. And it's out of the ranges and into the west to the scenes of wilder boyhood, if you love them the best. And ride and we'll ride from the city afar, to the plains of the cattle and sheep stations are, where stockmen ride hard and the drover starts forth on his long, lonely journey way up in the north. And your money is low and your luck has gone down, there is no place alone as the streets of the town, there's nothing but worry and dread and unrest, so we'll our ranges and into the west. A drought of the west may spread ruin around, and a dread drought of life in the city is found. And I'd far sooner treat them the long dusty way, where each one you meet says, Good day, mate, good day. Poverty by Henry Lawson I hate this grinning poverty, toil and pinch and bower, and be forever haunted by the sceptre of tomorrow. It breaks the strong heart of a man, it crushes out his spirit. Do what he will, do what he can, or have a highest merit. I hate the praise that won't escort from preacher and from poet. The kind of those who know it not, the blind the man who know it. Greatest curse since man at birth, an everlasting terror, the cause of half a crime on earth, the cause of half the error. Rain in the Mountains, Henry Lawson. 
The valley is full of mist cloud, its tinted beauty drowning. The eucalypti roar loud, the mountain fronts are frowning. The mist is hanging like a pole for many granite ledges, many little waterfalls of valley's edges. The skies of leaden grey, safe of the north surely. A driven daylight speeds away, and night comes our eyes early. But the love of the rain will pass full soon, far sooner than my sorrow, and in golden afternoon the sun may set tomorrow. Rise ye, rise ye, by Henry Lawson. Rise ye, rise ye, noble toilers, clean your rights with fire and steel. Rise ye, for curse turns crush ye with a horror near. You treat your worst slaves, you treat your worst and brutes. Rise and cross the savage turns, crush them with your hobnail boots. Rise ye, rise ye, glorious toilers, rise ye, rise ye, noble toilers. A rig, a rise, rise ye, rise ye, noble toilers, turns come across the race. A ye the rights of labor, will ye? Will ye still be slaves? Rise ye, rise ye, mighty toilers, rogue rotten laws. Thy wives go to washing with the battle of a cause. Rise ye, rise ye, glorious toilers, rise ye, rise ye, noble toilers, a rig, a rise. A glorious dawn is breaking now, the turn trembles now. You will starve us here no longer, tall as we will not bend or bow. Rise ye, rise ye, noble toilers, rise, we hold reverentious near. Civil leaders of people, can all pent up beer. Rise ye, rise ye, noble toilers, rise ye, rise ye, glorious toilers, a rig, a rise. Love the poor, us starve, my brothers, our wives and children weep. A woman told you to keep us while the toilers are asleep. Rise ye, rise ye, noble toilers, rise and break with Terence's chain. March ye, march ye, mighty toilers, even to the battle plain. Rise ye, rise ye, noble toilers, rise ye, rise ye, noble toilers, a rig, a rise. Sacred to the memory of unknown, by Henry Lawson. A wild black swans fly westward still, a sun goes down in glory, and away a lonely plain and hill still runs the same old story. She looks sighing all day long, the safe of big scrubs keeping, so watch us birth, the bellbird's song, the calm where unknown lies sleeping. The certain that shed of soldier birds, grave and unknown, lies sleeping. Of Bushman knew not his name or land, of shame that had sent him here. Bushman knew by the dead man's hand that his past life lay not near. The law of land might have watched for him, or a sweetheart, wife, or mother. Of the bird of her heads, and their eyes for them, who might have been the brother. Of the death he died brought him near to them, for he might have been the brother. The wild black swans to west would fade and suns burns to ashes, and three times bright on the eastern range the light of the big star flashes like the signal sent to a distant strand the dead man's love sits weeping. And the night comes grant of a great lone land of a grave where unknown lies sleeping, and the big white stars in the clusters blaze of the bush where unknown lies sleeping. Send around the head by Henry Lawson. No, this is the creed from the book of a bush. Should be simple and plain to truth. The man's and how you must pass around the head, where he jailed a gentleman once. Shadows before, by Henry Lawson. The clouds of the south of the nations rain on fair islands where you would command. The clouds that are darker and denser than these, who sailed from an island of north and seas, rest in our south on land. Low and dust, so goddess of liberty hurled at our feet, the time is at hand, and we the proud sons of self and world, and of a proud banner of freedom unfurled, and to each other should stand. The earn rings of right the advance, our enemies come like a flood, we meet them like lions, roused from our trance, and show what the strike of the olden Romans still runs in our commonplace blood. Spread the truth by Henry Lawson. Brave the anger of the wealthy, scorn the bitter lying spite, tell the truth in simple language, when you know what you are right. I will read it by the slush lamps in the station huts at night. I have seen the people's triumph and vision of my dreams. It is pictured by the campfires down the lonely western streams, and the teams just talk about it as they tramp beside the teams. Write the truth in simple language, and you shall not write in vain. Sing a ringing sound of freedom, and you have the same refrain that drove us right together far across the western plain. Write of wrongs that you are hating with grand or burning hate, of a lonely digger reads it when the western day is late. And he marks it in the paper he is sending to his mate. Spread the truth in simple language when you feel it in your breast. Reach a far selection in a wide Australian rest. Bushmen yarn together on a sunny day of rest. A worker's new religion spreads benefits of one's skies. Every bit fathers read it, for its words are kind and wise. And the little children listen to the truth wondering eyes. Statue of Robert Burns by Henry Lawson 
to a town in southern land, a light of pearls I come alone, and I pause a while and stand by a piece of stone. I with my head and bow and my heart as Scotland turns, when I am standing now neath the form of Robbie Burns. Round the corners of her lips, lines of laughter seem to run, while Mary Ivers lips just a twinkle as of fun. Living in the sculptor's art, set in stone, when I discerns of beauty and the part of the soul of Robert Burns. One of Caledonia's sons coming lonely to the land, who might think he'd met a friend who would take him by the hand, but he spring to his eyes when his heart for friendship yearns, which from out with hearty cries, Heaven bless ye, Bobby Burns. Unto me as unto you, as a hard word done it turns, and with sorrows but you knew I'm learning, Bobby Burns. I keep my heart above until, after many moons, I return to friends I love to Banks Line Bonnie Downs. Success by Henry Lawson. As you see that men riding past to show this boat of care, there's failure in his eyes to last and his heart to spare. He seldom looks to left or right, he nods but speaks to none. He's a man of fault to fight, God knows her heart and won. No great review could rouse him, no a printed lies could sting. No kindness smooth his knitted brow, no wrong one new line bring. For dull, dumb days and brooding eyes from years of storm and stress, is riding down from lonely heights the mountains of success. He sees across the darkening land, the graveyards on the coasts. He sees the broken columns stand like cold and bitter ghosts. His world is dead, while yet he lives for known incontinence. His camps where his country gives its proper monuments. Sweethearts wait on every shore by Henry Lawson. She sits beside the tinted tide that's reddened by the tortured sand. And through the east, the ocean wide, a vessel sails from sight of land. And she will wait and watch in vain what is said in Cupid's law, with you love it with love again, and sweethearts wait on every shore. Take it fightin' by Henry Lawson. And you've got no chance at all, take it fightin'. And you're driven to the wall, take it fightin'. There are things that we delight in for the wrong and of the rightin, that a fool who cannot frighten, and who cannot bluff nor frighten, he is king of all, take it fightin. You down and out and utter, take it fightin, and if put you in the gutter, take it fightin. There are things that we delight in for the wrong and of the rightin, and a fool who cannot frighten, and who cannot bluff nor frighten, he is king of all, take it fightin. Taking his chance by Henry Lawson. We stood by the door of the inn on the rise, my carny looked up on the bush ranger's eyes. Oh, why did you come? Was made of you, Jack. You know what the troopers are out on your track. A laugh and a shake of his obstinate head. I wanted to dance, I chanced, he said. Some twenty odd bushmen had come to the ball, but Jack from his youth had been known to them all. The bushmen as soft where woman is fair, so the love of my carny protected him there. And on a short evening, it seems like a romance, she danced with the bush ranger taking his chance. It was midnight, the dance stood suddenly still, the hoofs had been heard on the side of a hill. And Duggan the drover along the hillside came riding as only a bushman can ride. He sprang from his horse to the shanty he sped. The troopers sat down in the gully, he said. Quite close to the homestead the troopers were seen, glowed and right hard for the rangers, Jack Dean. Be quick, said McCarney, a hand and a heart. You bluff them a while, and we'll give you a start. He had lingered a moment to kiss her, of course, and ran to the trees where he'd hobbled his horse. She ran to the gate, and the troopers were where a jingle of hobbles came faint on the air. When loudly she screamed, it was only to drown the treacherous clatter of slip rates let down. The troopers so sharp she saw at a glance that some was taking a desperate chance. They chased and they shouted, Surrender, Jack Dean! They called her three times in the name of the Queen. Then came through the darkness the clicking of locks. A crack of arrivals was heard in the rocks. A shriek and a shout and a rush of pale men. And there lay the bushranger, chancing it then. The sergeant dismounted and knelt on the sod. Your bushranging's over. Make peace, Jack, with God. The bushranger laughed, but a word he replied, but turned to the girl who kneeled down by his side. He gazed in her eyes as she lifted his head. Just kiss me, my girl, that chanced, he said. The Pretty Girl in the Army by Henry Lawson Now I often sit at what is when the near is very near, with a head that's full of jingles and the fumes of bottled beer. I always have a fancy that if I am overware and the army prays so what I am included in the prayer. It would take a lot of praying, and lots of thumping on the drum, to prepare our sinful straying, erring souls for kingdom come. But I love my fellow sinners. I hope upon the whole that the army gets a hearing when it prays for what is soul. The Beauty and the Dude Henry Lawson. A fresh, sweet skin of beauty came tripping down the street. 
She wore as fair vision as you might chance to meet. A measure raised the scale yet on one to be rude, and raised it to the lady with fresh sweet scanned youth. They met and talked and simpered and giggled in the street. There was bright a vision as you might wish to meet. I don't know what we're good for, but don't want to be rude to the fair sweet scanned beauty of well upholstered youth. The blue mountains by Henry Lawson. Above the ashes straight and tall, for fern with moisture dripping, a clamber of the sandstone wall, my feet on Moses slipping. Like ramparts around the valley's edge, the tinted cliffs are standing, with many a broken wall and ledge, and many a rocky landing. And round about their rugged feet, deep ferny dells are hidden in shadow depths, whence dust and heat are banished and forbidden. A stream that, crooning to itself, comes down a tireless river, flows calmly to the rocky shelf, and there leaps bravely over. The pouring down, the lost in spray, the mountain breezes sally, water strikes the rock midday and leaps into the valley. Now in the west the colours change, the blue with crimson blending, behind the far dividing range the sun is fast descending. A mellow day comes over the place and softens the ragged edges, a rising moon's great placid face looks gravely over the ledges. The Christ of the Never by Henry Lawson, of eyes that are narrow to pierce to the awful horizons of land, for blaze for days, and the fierce wet heat waves that flow on the sand. For the Neverland westward and northward, bronze beard and gone on a trick, low voice and hard knuckled, rides forward the Christ of the outer outback. Of course, it will ne'er be relinquished, despite all the cynics on earth, and ranks of bush undistinguished by manner or dress, if by birth, God's preacher of churches unheeded, God's vineyard, for bear on the sod, plain spokesman where spokesman is needed, rough link twixt the bushman and God. He works with the hearts of a nation, a wooden flame for the sky, the sinners work out the salvation in the hell upon earth for ever die. In the camp of a lonely hut lying, in a waste that seems out of God's sight, he is the doctor, the mate of the dying, for the smothering heat of the night. By his work on the hells of shearers, where drinking is ghastly and grim, the roughs and worst of his hearers have listened bareheaded to him. By his past with the parched desolation, hot rites and the long terror tramps, the hunger, the first the privation of his work in the farthermost camps, by his worth of light which will search men and prove I, and justify each, a placement front of all churchmen who feel not, who know not, but preach. The Cliffs by Henry Lawson The sing of a condor of cliffs inland, and the cliffs of the ocean are truly grand, and along to wonder and dream and doubt with cliffs by the ocean run out and out. To the northward far as the eye can reach, a sand a boulder and sandy beach, but southward rise the track for me, that the cliffs by the ocean run out to sea. Friends may be gone on the morning fair, the cliffs by the ocean are always wear. Lovers may leave when the wind is chill, the cliffs by the ocean are steadfast still. And watch the sea and the water the land, and warn the ships from the treacherous sand. And I sadly think in the twilight hour what I might have been had I known my power. Where the smoke cloud blurs and the white sails fill, Point the ships to keep seaward still, and I think, a me, and I think, a me, of the wreck had saved, had I kept to sea. All the cliffs are old, and the cliffs are sad, and when all me sane, the man deem me mad. All the cliffs are firm, and the cliffs are strong, and they know me right, the man deem me wrong. And I sometimes think, in the dawning grey, I am out as way, I am out as way, and I think, I think that in field and town, a spiritual lift of the cliffs come down. The Crossroads by Henry Lawson once more write a line to you while darker shadows fall, dear friend of mine who have been true and steadfast through it all. I have written bitter rhymes with many lines that hold, and there have been false times it was not all my fault. The heaven's decree I would not bow and I sang very low, the things are written now and we must let them go. And if it's soften as I write, the better spirit springs, and very sad tonight because of many things. The friendships that I have abused, the trust that I betray, the talents that I have misused, the gifts I threw away, the things that did me little good and where my cheeks might burn, the kindly letters that I should have answered by return. But you might deem them answered now and answered from my heart, injured friends will understand, this I of fear is smart. I have done with barren strife and dark imaginings, my future work and life will seek for better things. The Day Before I Die by Henry Lawson it's such a lot of work to do for such a troubled head. I'm scribbling with again a book for full skip round and bed. It strikes me that I'll scribble much this way by by and write my last lines of a chance for the day before I die. There's lots of things to come and go, and I in careless rhyme and ring and laugh at the wastes the most. I've wasted lots of time. 
There's so much good work to be done that makes me sure that I will be sorry for my death the day before I die. But lift me, dear, for I am tired, and we taste the wine in her cheek a little while and in her cheek of mine. I want to say I love you so, your patient love is why, and I have such little time, you know, the day before I die. The Distant Drum by Henry Lawson Republicans, the time is coming, listen to the distant drumming, hearken to the whispers humming in the troubled atmosphere. Ye are born to do the toiling on and on and no recoiling, to the fighting, to the foiling of wrongs that wrong us here. And the loyal laugh and cheer you, let them in derision cheer you, still the courage, they fear you, that their deeds and all they say. The Britannia ruled for ever our wave, but never, never, we were land great oceans ever fifteen thousand miles away. Stained by persecutions, fires, fint of homes and thick with spires, we love the land that bred the sires, you have a land that breeds your sons. Your son shall have the reaping, and your son shall have the keeping of your honour while you're sleeping, freedom's vanguard in your graves. The Drunkard's Vision by Henry Laws a public parlour in the slums found of vice and villainy, where things are said and fit to hear, and things are done and fit to see. But rival dressed in a reckless song, that mock at all that's pure and right, a drunkard drinks for whole and long, and prays for half a dreadful night. In the morning now he sits with staring eyes and trembling limp, the harbour and the sun at last with morning is as night to him. And staying blank at the wall, he sees the tragedy complete, he sees the man he used to be go striding proudly up the street. It turns the corner of a swing at the vine framed cottage gate. The father sees with laughing eyes his little son and daughter wait. A race to meet him as he comes, and oh, this memory's worst. It dimples arms go round his neck, she pants, and not my daddy first. He sees his bride and little wife, he sees the cottage neat and clean, he sees the wrecking of his life and all the things that might have been. And his sunken, hopeless, black despair, the drink no more was pound and drawn up from the beer stained table there, a drunkard's ruined head goes down. And even I, a fearful wreck, have drifted long before the storm, and now when all seems lost on earth, hard it can be to reform. I too have sinned, and we have both drunk to the dregs the bitter cup. Give me your hand, or brother mine, and even I might help you up. The Emigration to New Zealand by Henry Lawson I have just received a letter from the Chamber Moriland. He is working down in Auckland, where days he's doing grand. The climate's cooler there, but hearts are warmer, says my chum. He sends the passage money, and he says I'd better come. I'd like to see his face again, I'd like to grip his hand. He says he's sure that I get on first rate to Moriland. And war he makes the best of things, it always was the style. He mostly get on better in a new land for a while. When I see the fading line of my own native shore, I let it fade, and won't to see it any more. I'm tired of Sydney pavements and western scrub and sand, and rather fight my troubles for chance Moriland. I'm off to make increase as to when the next boat sails. I'm sick of all these colonies, but most of the New South Wales. If you meet a friend of mine who wants to find my track, say you, he's gone to Moriland and isn't coming back. And should it be the land of the Red Sea, understand, just say you'll find him somewhere knocking down in Moriland. The Empty Glass by Henry Lawson We have three length baths in a board room. Of the numbers one to few, have deen for home the bars and fit for the thing where they have to do. Few glass fill with lens on wine and the breed of life they pass. The glasses they take, which we slowly raise, we drink to an empty glass. There's a great glare in the street tonight and a lot of rush and roar. There's a mad crowd yelling the winner's name and holding the cricket score. Of a bright moonlight on the angels white and the tombs and the monuments grand, and down by the water of Waverley, where's a little loud mound of sand. Oh, the drinkers would deem them drunk or mad, and the barmaid stay and frown. Each lays a hand on the empty glass, and they turn it upside down. With the name they know, and the hand they know, was scratch of the diamond wear. They place it inside to turn on more light, and fill the glasses fair. With the widow that weeps with the horns by line, and she stood by him long and true. But the widow should think with the horns by line, but us have laughed him too. As a peaceful land, and his work was done, and called the year away. Greatest lady in all the land is working for her today. If a widow should fear for her children's fate, or brood on the future lot, and a thrivers the land for widowed state in a short twelve months forgot, she can lay her down in the peaceful sleep and forget her grief and sleep, for his brothers have taken an oath tonight, an oath that the hearts can keep. They have taken an oath to his memory, a pledge they can't recall, to stand by the woman that stood by him, poverty, illness, and all. A young man yet of the prime of life, and as each lays down his trust, a world be kind to the left behind, the native land be just. 
Silence of death in town tonight, and the streets seem strangely clear. As the pitiful slaves of a gambling curse fight home for a strange new fear, of a soft moonlight on the angels white, the beautiful marbled stand, and down by the rollers at Waverley is the mound of a golden sand. A federal city, Henry Lawson, of a folly the waste pity time it is flung behind. A seeking a sight for a city whose eyes should be always blind, whose love for the east grows greater and whose care for the country less, a seeking a sight for a city, a city of selfishness, an ignorance, deafness, blindness, in the cities by the sea, the waste of time and of money and of local jealousy, of anti federal envy and personal paltriness, a seeking a sight for a city while Australia moans in distress. Her coasts of people crowded, the Australia's danger lies, her hills and clear cool rivers under the softer skies, the fat shall not melt, and the under cool and freshening breeze, rest drivel and comfort of boodle and swindle at ease. A seeking sight for a city in the beauty spots of the land, when I see so plainly my children the federal towers should stand. The heart of Australia beats strongest and highest in desert air. Make a sight for a federal city and build you your capital where. A crowd should be drawn from the coastland to a great bush that cradled the race. A bush might be armed and directed should be seaboard be lost for space. A waste should be watered and guarded in a drawed land of never despair. They build you your federal city and make you a paradise aware. It should be a worldwide object lesson. It should stand while the bushman is true, telling the bushman who built it to show what a nation can do. Where shall Australia sit queenly, and where shall children be schooled? For, I say, from the heart of Australia shall the whole of Australia be ruled. A firing line by Henry Lawson. They are creeping on through the cornfields yet, and they clamber amongst the rocks. And they rush to step bayonet and smash their rival stocks. And many are wounded, and many are dead, as the realists have drunk with wine, and fling them down on a bloodstained bed, and sleep in a firing line. And dream perhaps, for they shut back, while the sharpness shrieks and crashes, and field guns hammer and rifles crack, and the blood of the comrades splashes. On horrible shamless, a rest of wealth for murder by right divine, a curse or jest, and a frown or smile, and a dream in the firing line. And dreadful din of ghastly fight, they are shooting a murdering man, and the smothering silence of ghastly peace, the murder of tan and pen. They have heard the tap of a typewriter, and the track of reform in mine, and the stand of a frame of a linotype, they are all in the firing line. We will be in part in the world, or the war we are fighting with quivering nerves. The dead are our fathers who charge before, and children are our reserves. The world old wrongs shall last while the stars are still shine. My comrades and I, who would sing their songs, are all in the firing line. There are some of us cowards who hack the ground, and some of us reckless suggest, and some of us careless slumber sound, and some of us very who rest. There are some of us dreamers, whose bed seems soft and our heart, our friend of mine, the brightest and bravest of earth, too oft lie drunk in the firing line. And asleep I may wake a fort with storm, the can't be first to dare. And we grow strong, drunk at reform, and the dreamers strike hardest where. God give me strength for my country's need, for shame and disgrace be mine, and let be certain to rise and lead when we charge from firing line. The flag of our destinies, by Henry Lawson. For a boundary swung to the circling seas, and a nation named to the world, and the sixth the flag of our destinies, and a report unfurled. God grant from greed, of the dust of sleep, and of a right by lie maintained, more we'll safe our blood, if we must, you keep the silver and blue unstained. You yield no praise and you speak no blame for history's weeds and flowers. And the work of a hundred years we claim is our father's work and ours. For peace to prosper, to war to save, where the future runs. May God make noble and strong and brave the hearts of our father's sons. The King of our Republic, by Henry Lawson. He is coming, he is coming, what heralds the for cheers. He is coming, he is coming, and he's been with us for years. And if you should pause to wonder who's the man of whom I sing as the king of our republic and the man we shall call king, who comes not to amuse and he comes not to explain the marvels of old things of all the land again, the debatable entanglement of the vain imagining should we sweep out of our pathway of the man we will call king. He is coming, he is coming, he has heard our spirit call. He will be greatest man since Cromwell and the English nations all. And he takes place amongst us where the rest are wandering, shall the king of our republic and the man we will call king. You'll find him stern and unyielding, where his living task is set. I've told you, but the turn shall uplift the nation yet. He will place his country's wealth over all and everything, shall the king of our republic and the man we will call king. Yet his heart shall still be gentle of his brothers gone astray. The great man of Australia shall be simple in his day. Modest, kindly, but unyielding, while the watching world shall ring with the name of our republic and the man will be called king. 
The Light on the Wreck by Henry Lawson All the bird rocks at the end of the bank and the mouth of the river the wanderers sink. She's resting the meat the blue water and green and only a mass and a funnel are seen. In the sea when it's fading with sunset's last flick on a foremost a lantern a light on a wreck. It's a light on a wreck warning ships to prepare the drowned iron hull of a wanderer where and the ships that come in and go out in the night keep a careful lookout for the wanderer's light. And rules for harbor and rules for wave, all captains stick clear of a wondrous grave. And the stories of strong lies that end in wrecks might be likened to lights of a derelict decks, like the light where, in sight of the streets of a town in the mouth of the channel, the wanderer went down. Keep a watch for the desk, so watch for the deck. Keep a watch from your home for the light on the wreck. The lights on the wrecks since creation began have been shining in vain for the one clan. I will never take warning, they will not beware. They hold for the mouthless, what matter, what care. They sail for compass, they sail for check, till they steer to the grave, neither light on the wreck. The lily and the bee by Henry Lawson. I looked upon the lilies when the morning sun was low, the sunshine threw a lily with soft and honey glow. A sport was sent the lily that moved incessantly, and when I looked into the cup I saw a morning bee. Consider the lilies, but a curse may not, does anyone consider the lily and the bee? Lily stands for beauty, use, purity, and trust. It does a fourfold duty, as all good mortals must. Its wideness is to teach us, its fates to set us free, its beauty is to cheer us, and its wealth is for the bee. Consider the lilies, but it cures to me, does anyone consider the lily of the bee? The little native rose by Henry Lawson. There's a lasting little flower when everybody knows, yet none has formed a finger bowl the little native rose. A waddle in the rough, the world has heard of those, who outside Australia cans the little native rose, at first of faint forth perfume that lives where memory goes, and first of all for faithlessness, the little native rose. The Lovable Characters by Henry Lawson I long for the streets that the Lord knoweth best, for I am never a saint. There are lovable characters out in the west of humour heroic and quaint, and be it up country or be it out back, I shall have gone to my home, I trust to be bird, tricks, river and trick, where my lovable characters are home. There are lovable characters drag through the scrub, where the optimist ever prevails. There are lovable characters hang round the pub, the lovable jokers at sales, the auctioners, one of the lovable wax, maybe from his owner estranged, and the beers on tap, and the pigs on the back, for the chasing are changed. There are lovable characters out in the west, of fifty odd summers or more, or could not be proved when it came to the test, to a rule to be sent to the war. We were all forty-five and for orphans, they said, of no one to keep for more keep. And mostly in France, the world's brave steed was love of character sleep. I long for the streets, but the Lord knows best, for why I am never a saint. I love the characters out in the west, of humor heroic and quaint. And be it up country or be it out of back, when I shall have gone to my home, I trust to be Beatrix driven and track, that my lovable characters roam. The man we might have been, by Henry Lawson. God's rough crops are us, frightening heart and mind. They seem dark before me and they seem black behind. As friends of think they know me, or deem their inside keen, and never forget to show me the man I might have been. His rich and independent, or rising fast of fame, his bright stars are scanned in the country knows his name. His houses and his gardens are splendid to be seen, as for the wise world pardons the man I might have been. His fame and fortune haunt me, as the virtues wave me back. His name and prestige dawned me when I would take the trick. You, my friend, too hearted, goalkeeper of friendship green, now I was part of the one I might have been. And what awaits the ache of remorse or weak regret? We battle for the sake of the man we might be yet. So I to keep in sight of the brave, the true and clean, and try him yet in spite of the man we might have been. The man who lived at dawn, Henry Lawson. I've sinned like others blindly, for the fallen without fear. As friends said kindly, you go away from here. I fly the portal spurred of a narrow little town, I build drums of beating for the men who live it down. Down the street where all men know when I can walk with little eyes, I believe the lies about me they can sneer but I despise. Black and bitter child of my dull and joyless youth, it is I who, it is I who, I in Christ who know the truth. Sint, but as a man might, like a man I rise again from long nights of mental torture, from long days of care and pain. Pass me by, with eyes of words, with a shrug of a frown, the heads shall bow and ashes long, and my head shall go down. Cursed, dead to trespass, quick to sneer and quick to blame, 
The wider world is kinder, it takes long to damn a name. As the heart of it's worth a million, and the hair of it's worth a crow. If I should pride, I sometimes for men who live it down. Sand grip close and silent, firm and trust and sympathy. Since the old thrill from my being, since the old hopes up in me. As one who would stand beside me when the screen is around my bed, and the godly past the stricture on the sinner who is dead. And the craps is around my picture, my mad white spirits free. Realize how little you have ever known of me. And the verse is sad and printed with a coward and the clown. And I trust a friend might answer, but as one who lifted down. The man who stuck to me, by Henry Lawson. With the man of many nations, with the man of many stations, with the man of many places and of high and low degree, men of many types and faces, but like in all the races, the men I met in trouble and the man who stuck to me. Some were friends, but most were strangers, some were very worldwide rangers, some in freedom were in prison, in prison some were free. Oh, I have the vision of the man I met in prison, craving for a buckle with the man who stuck to me. Some I never met and never knew the great would wane and daver for my sake, and some were old mates whom I never more may see, never hear me, some I talked with, never saw me, some I walked with, blind and deaf and dumb and fallen, the man who stuck to me. Yes, I'll stick, words most human, with trouble men or woman, stick with money or without it, whoever you may be, right or wrong, in drink or sadness, stick, insanity or madness, such as these the men I stuck to and the man who stuck to me. I was seen not in our blindness that the world is full of kindness, kindness to make full atonement of all evil would there be. And my life was deadly faithful, my heart was always grateful, and I sent the song at Christmas to the man who stuck to me. The mountain splitter, Henry Lawson. The works in the glen far off gross, the gums and vares are tall, if close to tree echo the sound of splows, and the wedges leap in from the mole. It comes of a hardy old immigrant race, and it feels not rain of a drove. Sinews are together from the wire, and his face has been tanned by the sun of the south. In a doom to be shorn of its glory at last, so steady old tree he attacks. Its moments of life he is numbering fast, with the keen steady strokes of his axe. Loud cracks at the bath of strong wood is burst, and the splitter steps backward and turns, his eyes to the boards who slowly at first have rushed to the grave in the ferns. He strips of a bark with slight effort of strength, and stretches it out on the weeds. Marks the trunk with the measure of the length of the rails of the paling sinites. The teeth of his crosscuts are truly as set when it swings from his elbow at ease. And the song of so I am hearing it yet is the music of wind in the trees. Song blows and which and the ribbed the tear, and the long opens up to the bud, and spreading around through the pure mountain air as the scan the wood newly cut. A love of comfort and crown is a sea, and the day's work is behind, a fire and the yarn and the billy of tea, the heart of splendor you'll find. As custom saw the town with the range, how well the future here looks. It checks an instant storekeeper's change, his name is the best on the books. The Old Mile Tree by Henry Lawson Old coach road west by Norwood, Old Mile Tree by the track, A dead branch pointing forward and a dead branch pointing back, And still in click at Romans, when his heart hard it hails, the miles from bone fans. Old chief of western timber, a famous gum you've been, old mile tree I remember, and all your boys were green. There came three boys who love us, when golden days begun, and rode three boys rovers towards the setting sun. And fortune smiled the fairest, and fate to weas was kind, the truest, best, and rarest, the girls that left behind. But the campfires dying, and by they dreamed of love and gold, old mile tree I remember, and all our hearts were bowed. And the wrecks of those days were sadly drifting back, there came a lonely swagman along the dusty track, and save for limbs that trembled, for weak and ill was he, out mile tree he resembled the youngest of the free. But if you, dark and lonely, wronged and broken man, he crouched and sobbed as only the strong heart broken can. The darkness wrapped the timber, the stars seemed dark overhead, out mile tree I remember, when all green leaves seemed dead. The Poets of a Tomb by Henry Lawson The world has had enough of parts to wish with where you are dead. It's time the people passed the law to knock him on the head. For it would be lovely for friends could grant the rest they crave, was bards of tears and vanished hopes, was poets of grave. They say that life's an awful thing and full of care and gloom. They talk of peace and restfulness connected with the tomb. They say that man is made of dirt and die, of course he must. But all the same a man's made of pretty solid dust. There's a thing that they forget, so let it here be writ. That some are mad of common mud, and some are made of grit. Some try to help the world along, while others fret and fume, and wish they were slumbering in the silence of a tomb. 
Trick's mother's arms and coffin gear, a man has work to do. If he does his very best, he mostly worries through, and all days are long to ride, and while the world goes around, an honest man alive is worth a million underground. And yet as long as she oaks sigh and rattle blossoms bloom, the world shall hear the drivel of a poet's tomb. And while the graveyard poets long to vanish from the scene, and notice that they mostly wish the resting place keep green. Now we are rotting underground, I do not think I'd care if one might rooted in the mound of the cows camped there. And should I have some feeling left when I have gone before, I think a ton of solid stone would hurt my feelings more. Such warmy songs of mouldy joys can give me no delight. I take my chance with the world, I'd rather live and fight. Fortune laughs along my track, or worse, the blackest throne. I try to do the world some good before I tumble down. Let's fight for things that ought to be, and try to make them boom. We cannot hurt mankind when we are ashes in the tomb. The pride that comes after, by Henry Lawson. It knows it all, it knows it all, the world of groans and laughter. It sneers of pride before a fall, but the bitter pride comes after. So leave me and I'll seek you not, so seek me and you'll find me. But till I know your hands grips true, I'll stand with hands behind me. It knows it all, it knows it all, the world of lies and sorrow. It prates of pride before a fall, not of a humble morrow. But shame and blame are but a name, a heart that's hurt past curing. We'll drink tonight the sinner's pride, the pride that's most enduring. They know it all, they know it all, the course that pass for sense. They preach of pride before fall and bitter black repentance. So leave me when my star is set, a glory when you leave me. While one has pride or laugh me yet, as naught on earth shall grieve me. The Professional Wanderer by Henry Lawson When you've knocked about the country, been away from home for years, and have passed by distance softened, nearly fills your eyes with tears. You haunt doft, wherever or however you may roam, a fence that you ought to go and see the fox at home. You forget the family quarrels, and the things that used to jar, and you think of how well worry, how well wonder where you are. You will think you serve them badly, and your own party you'll condemn, and it strikes you that you'll surely be a novelty to them. For your voice has somewhat altered, and your face has somewhat changed, and the views of men and matters of a wider fields have ranged. And it's time to save your money, or to watch it, how it goes. And it's time to glad the glads down at a decent suit of clothes. And it's time to practice daily with a hairbrush and a comb, you drop an unexpected on folks and friends at home. And you've been at home for some time, and the novelty's worn out, and out chums no longer caught you, and your friends begin to scoff. And the girls no longer kiss you, crying, Jack, how you have changed. And you stare to your relations, and the manner seems estranged. And the old domestic crowels from the table fries a day. Make it too much like the old times, make you wish you'd stay away, when in short you've spent your money in the fullness of your heart, and your clothes are getting shabby, and it's high time to depart. The Rose by Henry Lawson You laugh the land when the world goes around, and deep, deep down in the thorny ground, when nobody comes and nobody knows, we laugh a rose, oh, we laugh a rose. And none to tell us, and none to teach, the western hedge of a shelving beach, but all of us know what everyone knows. We laugh a rose, oh, we laugh a rose. We laugh a rose when our day is dead, and we lay the roses upon our bed. Too late, too late, in our last repose, but we laugh a rose, oh, we laugh a rose. A root march by Henry Lawson. Here we hear the children singing, oh, my brothers. Here we hear the children singing as our troops went marching past. In the sunshine and the rain, as we'll never sing again, even the schoolgirls sing as the troops went swinging past. Do you hear the children singing, oh my brothers? Do you hear the children singing for the first man and the last? As we marched away and vanished to a tune before it was banished, do you hear the children singing for the future and the past? Do you hear the children singing, oh my brothers? Do you hear the children singing in the sunshine of the rain? When we stop spinning the ringing of the cheers and leave the singing, and the tears of orphan children when our boys come back again. A rush to London, Henry Lawson. You all the way to London now, where no one dare ignore you, with self and laurels on your brow and all the world before you. And if you should return again, forgotten and unknowing, when one shall wait in wind and rain, and for each yet you going. You all the way to London, proved the fair girl shall adore you, the poor plain face of one that laughed may never rise before you. And if you should return again, when young blood sheets is flowing, and one shall wait in the wind and rain, where forty cheered you going. It may be carelessly you spoke of never more returning, but sometimes in the London smoke you smell the gum leaves burning. And think of how the grassy plain beyond the fog is flowing, and when it waits in shine of rain, where forty cheered you going. A shame of going back, Henry Lawson. You've come to make a fortune you haven't made your sword. 
and the reason of your failure isn't anybody's fault. You haven't got a billet and the times are very slack. There's nothing that can spur you like the shame of going back. Crawling home with empty pockets, going back hard up. That's when you learn the meaning of humiliation's cup. Replacing you as strangers and you struggle all alone. And you have a mighty longing for the town where you are known. Your clothes are very shape and the future is very black. There's nothing that can hurt you like the shame of going back. You fall to battle bravely and are beaten to the wall as the sneers of men and conscious make cowards of us all. And while you are returning out, your brain is on red, your heart is in the shadow of the shame of going back. When a beaten man is discovered with a bullet in his brain, they post-mortem him and try him, they say he was insane. But it very often happens that he lately got the sick and his onward move was owning to the shame of going back. My friend, you call it nonsense, and your upper lip is curled. I can see that you have never worked your passage through the world. But when fortune rounds upon you and the rain is on the track, you will learn the bitter meaning of the shame of going back. Going home hard up, I will taste the bitter poison in her limitations cup. The song and the sigh by Henry Lawson. A creek went down with a broken song neath a sheok's high. Waters carried a song along on the oaks aside. Song and the siren winding by, when winding down, circling the foot of a mountain high and the hills have brown. The hush and the swim of a dead man's crime, the colors cried, and reached the river the self same time, and there they died. And the creak of life goes winding on, wandering by, and pierces forever its course upon a song and a sigh. The Song of Australia by Henry Lawson. The centuries found me to nations unknown, where people have crowned me and made me a throne. The royal regalia's love, truth, and light, a girl called Australia, hath come to my right. On the fields of conquest, great at my birth, my dad were the nobles and bravest on earth. My strong sons are worth to stand for the best, my brave of the landers are at west of the west. My cities are seeking clean and the right, my statesmen are speaking in London tonight. The voice of my bushman is heard over sea, my army and navy are coming to me. All my grim headlands, my flag is unfurled, Artists and singers are charming the world. A white world shall know its young outpost of pride. The fame of my poets goes ever more wide. By old trow and steeple of nation grown grey, the name of my people is spreading today. Through all the old nations, my leaners go forth, my youthful inventors are startling the north. In spite of all Asia and safe from her yet, for white Australia my standards I'll set. A grand world and brighter world arise in an hour, wings of a white world the balance of power. For storm or serenely will ever go through, God grant I be queen, they could grant I be true. To suffer in silence and strike at a sign, to all the fair islands of these seas are mine. The song of a darling river, by Henry Lawson. The skies are brass, the plains are bare, death and ruin are everywhere. And all that is left of the last year's flood is a sickly stream and a grey black mud. The salt springs bubble and the quagmires quiver, and this is the dirge of the darling river. Arise and draw to the Queenland's reign from the branches again and again. All my billabongs back and wane for my life and my people's the South Sea strain. The lands grow old and the people never will see the worth of a darling river. I drown dry gullies and lave bare hills, I turn drawn ruts into rippling rills. I fall for highlands and glades so green till every bend is a sylvan sea. I have watered the burn land ten leagues wide, but in vain I have tried I in vain I have tried. Show a sign of a great old giver, world to a people, or lock your river. I want no blitzing barge aground, but racing steamers with seasons round. I want fair homes on my lonely ways, a people's laugh and a people's praise. And rosy children to dive and swim, and fair girls sweet in my rippling brim. And cool green forests and gardens ever, of this is the hymn of a darling river. Skies, brass and scrublands glare, death and ruin are everywhere. From high to bleach or deep in the mud, the bones were buried by last year's flood. And the demons dance from the never never to laugh on the rise of a darling river. A song of a waste paper basket by Henry Lawson. O bard of fortune, you deem me naught, but a mark for your careless scorn. For I'm the echoless grave of fault with string before it's born. You think by chance that I am a doom, which only a dunce should read. A dream I've been that is on a tomb of a nobles and brightest dead. The brightest fancies that I can fly for the laboring minds of men are often written lines every a marble blundering pen. 
as it comes with a gain a part of what to the world is lost, of genius lost for the want of art, of pearls that are set in dross. And why I am of a lowly birth, my fame has been cheaply bought, a poor am I, for I rob the earth of the brightest gems of thought. A press gains much of my lawful share, I wrong without redress, and I have revenge for I think it fair that I should plunder the press. If pause and wonder to read behind the lines of some songs I see, the son of a singer often find in songs that are frown to me, a song of a singer I bury deep with the scrawl of a dancing clown, and more from the eyes of the world I keep, and the hopes of both I drown. Soul of a Poet by Henry Lawson I have written, long years I have written, for the sake of my people and right. I was true when Ryan had bitten deep into my soul in the night. I wrote not for praise nor for money, I craved but the soul of the pen, I felt not the sting and the honey of praise and the kindness of men. I read and you saw the word seen, my work seemed a trifle apart, while truth of things I fled through my being, and wrong of things murdered my heart. Cast out, despised, and neglected, and weakened, and feared, and debt, my songs mutilated, rejected, shall ring from common worth yet. And you to the pure and the guileless, the peace of your comfort and pride. You've mocked in my bodily wildness, you've tempted and cast me aside. But wronged and cast out, and ring sodden, but shunned and insane and unclean. I've dared where few others have trodden, I have seen what few others have seen. I've seen your souls bear for a season, I've heard as a deaf man can hear. I have seen the deprived of your reason and stricken with deadliest fear. A beautiful night hid the shocking black shame of the day that was past, and that a great universe rocking with the truth that was coming at last. A spirit for good by Henry Lawson. It comes with peace and reason to come with love and light, to banish black self trees and everlasting night. We know no God nor devil will never drive nor lead. We come to banish evil and thought as well as deed. And this is our grandest mission, and this is our purest worth, to banish superstition, the blackest curse on earth. We come to pass the sentence, for us is not the power, the coward's way in repentance, but waste its waiting hour. It is not for us to lengthen the years of wasted lives, we come to help and strengthen the goodness that survives. We promise naught hereafter, we cannot conquer pain, but we work and rest and laugh our will sue for tortured brain, at which is a loss we cannot restore to anyone. The truth and right must triumph and justice must be done. We come in many guises, but every one is plain to each pure form that rises again and yet again. We are ourselves and human, and owe us our destiny, the souls of man and woman, divorced by vanity. The Teams by Henry Lawson A cloud of dust on the long wide road, the teams go creeping on, inch by inch, very loud. And by the power of a green height gold, the distant goal is won. Eyes have shut to the blinding dust, and next to the yokes bend low. The beasts are pulling as bullocks must, the shining tires might almost rust, but the sparks are turning slow. The face half hid neath the broad brimmed hat, that shades from the head's white waves, and shoulder the whip with its green hide plate, the driver plots of gate like a vet of his very patient slaves. He whips his bro for day is hot, and spits to the left of spite. He shouts at Benny and flicks at Scott, and raises dust from the back of spot, and spits to the dusty right. It sometimes pauses a thing or form at front of a settler's door, and asks for drink and remark, It's warm, or say, the signs of thunderstorm, but he seldom matters more. And rains are heavy on roads like wreaths, and frondings and lonely home for weeks together the settler sees, the teams bogging down to the axles trees, or ploughing the sodden loam. And then, when the roadside were worst, the bushman's children here, the crew blows, whips were worst, the bullocks pull as the hearts would burst, and bell of pain and fear. And thus, with little of joy rest, are the long, long journeys done. And thus, it is a cruel war at the best, a distance fallen in the mighty west, and the lonely battles won. The things we dare not tell, by Henry Lawson. The fields are fair in autumn yet, and the sun's still shining there. We bow our heads and we brood and fret because of mask we were. Or we not and smile the social while we say we're doing well. And we break our hearts, we break our hearts for things we must not tell. As the old love wronged of the newest one, was the light of long ago. As a cruel lie would we suffer for and the public must not know. So we go through life with a ghastly mask and we're doing fairly well. While we break our hearts or they kill our hearts, do the things we must not tell. We see the pride and selfish breast, the heart is breaking there. Our world would be such a kindly world if all men's hearts lay bare. We live and share the living lie. We are doing very well, while we eat our hearts as the years go by, do the things we dare not tell. 
bows down to a dusty shrine or a temple in the east, we stand and drink to a world out cradle of a coffin set the feast. We fight down, we live the dome of the beard bravely well. But the best men die of a broken heart for the things they cannot tell. The Three Quiet Gentlemen by Henry Lawson There is a quiet gentleman motoring in France on the year of the honking of a British motor car. Like any quiet gentleman that you may meet a chance who doesn't wear a uniform and doesn't sport a star. Another quiet gentleman is sitting by his side we hear their shuffling feet tonight in gay Paris. The honking of a motor car when we go for a ride as louder than the biggest gun that's made in Germany. Another quiet gentleman who's very like the first and we hear the tinkle of sleigh bells on the snow is riding out in Russia not to watch the best and worst. We hear the bells of Petrograd ringing soft and low, a Christmas bells of Petrograd that hail the birth of Christ. The sleigh bells from the up would hail the birth of sin, the eyes of men are dried in hell and hearts of men are iced, louder than the loudest blare that's blaring in Berlin. The tracks that lie by India, by Henry Lawson. Now this is not a dismal song like some have sung of late, and I've been brooding all day long about my muddled fate. For though I've had a rocky time I never quite forget, and though I never was so deep in trouble and in debt, though I never was so poor nor in a thick so tight, the tracks that run by India are shining in my sight. The roads that run by India and all the ports of call I'm going back to London first to race the weather of all. I call it Zeus and Port Said as I am going past. I was too worried to take notes when I was that way last. At Naples and at Genio and if I get the chance, I know that I might run across the pleasant land of France. And tracks that runs Bania goes up to the hot red sea. The other side of Africa is far too dull for me. I hear that I have missed a chance I never get again to see the land of Chivalry and by the while in Spain. I graft a year in London, and if fortune smiles on me, I'll take the track to India by France and Italy. The sweet to court some foreign girl of eyes of lustrous glow, who does not know my language and whose language I don't know. To London gently rolling decks beneath the softening skies, where she sits knitting a pose and make love for her eyes. The glance that says for more than words, the old half mystic smile, the track that runs by India will wait for me a while. The tracks that run by India to China and Japan, the tracks born the rovers go, the tracks that call a man. A word of former lands of parson and of price, of dollars and of fashion, and then drifting towards the east. I'm tired of can and cackle and of sordid of jobbery, the mystery of the east, of cast its glamour over me. The Tragedy by Henry Lawson I never felt so wretched, and things never looked so blue, as the days I got the physic that McCranny used to brew. A friend whom I trusted entering my room last night saw a bottle full of hinsel from the desk we on her right. I'm certain sure he did it, for he never would let on, for all last week he had a cold and day his cause gone. Now I'm sick and so and so, and I'm sad for friendship's sake, as bad in the cork you that my granny used to make. I might have pinched my whiskey and he might have pinched my beer, for all the fame or money that I make while writing here, or I might have shocked the blankets, and I'd not have made a show if it only left my hands into the morning anyhow. I've lost my faith in mateship, which was all I had to lose, since I lost my faith in Russia myself and got the blues. And so trust turns to suspicion, and so friendship turns to hate, even Kaiser Bill would never pinch his hands off from a maid. The two poets by Henry Lawson. Two poets were born of the skies were fair. To live in a land thereafter, and one was a singer of sorrow and care, and one was a bard of laughter. With simple measure and simple words, the feelings of mankind voicing, and light hearts listened, and sad hearts heard, and they went on their way rejoicing. The glad rejoice that the world was gay, or took no thought of the morrow, and it ever has lightened the sad hearts away to hear of another sorrow. The poets died when none were aware, for no one could see the token. That light of heart was a bard of care, the heart of the other was broken. The uncultured arima to his cultured critics, by Henry Lawson. Fight for ignorance, want and care, for the griefs that crush the spirit. Push away to a fortune fair and the smiles of the world you'll merit. Long as a boy for the chance to learn, for the chance that fate denies you, when degrees where the life lights burn and scores by teaching the wise you. By cultured friends you have come too late, the pipe have nicely graded. I fought was far on my track of fate, and then full of the rest unaided. Must I be stopped by a college gate on the track of life and crouching? Be dumb to love, be dumb to hate, with the lack of college coaching? You grow up the truth in the language dead, and the dust neath tower and steeple. What know you of the tricks we treat? What know you of our people? 
I must read this and wet and rest and write as the cult expects me, and read the book that may please me best and writes my heart directs me. You were quick to pick on a faulty line that I strove to put my soul in. Your eyes were keen for a dash of mine in the place of semicolon and blight and rest. And this is for such as you I must brook restriction. I was taught a little. I learned too much to care for patent's dictation. Must I turn aside from a distant way for task, yet yours would find me. Come the strength of the living day, far the world behind me. And you alone in your cultured halls drive in a croaking cab. Your voice goes further than college walls, keep out of the tracks we travel. The voice from over yonder by Henry Lawson. She cares much as I did when our paths of fate divided. Was her laugh then all one sided? Did she understand or care? Slowly for the moments laden with silence seems to deaden. The voice from over yonder answers sadly, I've been where? Have you tramped the streets of cities poor? And do you know what it is? An immortal cares or pities to have drifted past ambition, to have sunk below despair, doomed to slave and stint and borrow, a haunted in your soul by the spectre of tomorrow. A voice from over yonder answered sadly, I've been aware. Surely in the white year after is a land of laugh and laughter. Says this life all we live for is say it, think it if you dare, if you've afforded a one another by the man and God misundered, you think the maker blundered. And voice and mocking accents answered only, I've been where? Water, by Henry Lawson. Let others make the songs of love for a young struggling nation. I will sing while I live the songs of irrigation. For the white man shall beget a white man's son and daughter, the two most precious things for us shall still be wheat and water. He in broad ruined in the west, never in my dreaming, I see white miles of wavering crops and sheets of water gleaming, and plains of fortune died of thirst, and my brave father sought here, I see the painted barges pass along the winding water. And now the glorious sheems of wood our country to deliver, on drought and death from blazing waste by long neglected river. I see the blood of the world rush in from a thick water, I want the land, the gold reefed sand, and I want the water. Bright intellects will plan the dikes, with little gold to gild them. Bright intellects will plan the dikes, the people pay to build them. And we've made our long canals and lakes and every quarter, and ours would be the guarantee the trust would own the water. We'd hold the bores and aqueducts, waterways and barges, we would live or we would starve according to our charges. All the Edens of the West, and bear our sons and daughters, we'd hold the land ten leagues so each sip the rippling waters. And was the fight to hold their own, for Lord and time delivers. As we have held our railway lines, so we shall hold our rivers. You'll find the money as you found the money spent in slaughter. To build our dikes and build our dams, we shall own the water. With waving of the red, Henry Laws. This is sad and cruel fate the country is coming to, and there's no use in striking, so what are we to do? I know what we could do, but when there might be traitors near and things are running my hair that only made should hear. The world cannot go on like this, in spite of all that's said, a million's now waiting for the waving of a red. Last night, as I lay slipping, out a vision came to me, a girl with face as fair and grand as ever man might see, of almost like the statue raised to liberty in France, in her hand a blood-red flag was wrapped around the lance. She shook her grand old color loose, she smiled at me and said, Go bid your brothers gather for the waving of a red. The way I treated father, the hen will lose. We worked for father in the bush, at splitting rails and palings. He never was unkind to me, although he had his failings. And his grave is old and green, and our times I'm rather inclined to think it was very mean the way I treated father. Mother had for years been dead, and dad and I and Stumpy were living in a little shed, what Bushmen call a humpy. I think when day began, and it was cold and chilly, it was mean to see a grey old man get up and boil the billy. When my lazy limbs were stiff, what was the winter weather? When my eyes were shut as if the lids were glued together, I think it was mean to lie in bed. I think that I was silly because I growled if father said, Get up and buy the billy. I didn't help the cooking much, for I was always tired. It was strange that I could eat with such an appetite as I had. But I might have never growled when father shouted, Willie, it's getting on for dinner time, go home and buy the hilly. His grave is growing old and green, and things have altered rather. I'd still think it was mighty mean the way I treated farmer. He left a tidy sum to me, but I'd give all the money to hear him say, Will you get up and build the billy, Sonny? The Way of the World by Henry Lawson And fair faces turn for me, and care friends grow cold, 
a floss for poverty, for French, a board of gold, and a surface selfish turn of some outworldly fuel, and for these lamps of cheese to burn, I come back to you. When my admirers find I'm not a rising star by thought, and praise or blame is all forgot my early promise brought. Bright arrivals lead a host, I once I let a few, kind of times reward the boast, and I'll come back to you. Love me, not for what I had, or what I might have been, so the good, but not the bad, was kind for it between. I know it you'll forgive again, but you will judge me true. I'm too tired to explain when I come back to you. For western stars, by Henry Lawson. On my blankets I was lying, the tired left my head. And the long hot day I was dying, and I wished when I was there. West the gold was driven, or to death of day. The distant stars of heaven seemed to draw my heart away. I can only drag you down, by Henry Lawson. Leader, poet, singer, artist, you've struggled long and won. Of climbing is behind you, and of a battle has begun. Shut your ears unto the empty parrot phrase of tone. Shun the hand grips of your rivals. They can only drag you down. See a bush, a quiet chamber, work for you have work to do. Our city should be lighted with tables spread for you. Work for trees and pleasure, call you. Work when you have care to drown. Shun the wine cup like a serpent. It can only drag you down. And the star eyes and red lips, luring ever to a wreck. Beauty of the white arms clinging closely round your neck. Golden heat from back and white arms clinging closer when you frown. Tear them from your neck if need be, they can only drag you down. Till all the bad things came untrue by Henry Lawson. The blacks for plains burn a grave of drought, where desert shrubs and grasses grow along the land of furthest out that only overlanders know. I dreamed I camped on river grass, and bends of river timber grew. I dreamed I dreamed the days to pass till all the bad things came untrue. I dreamed that I was young again, wasn't young as I had been. My path for life seemed fair and plain, my sight and hearing clear and keen. Along a bend, no line and grey, I met and loved and worshipped you. I dreamed, I dreamed the days away till all the sad things came untrue. I dreamed the home of freestone stood, with town tilled roofs as a roof should be, where cliff and fall and beech and wood, the wide renders to the sea. I dreamed the hair grew men and wife, sons and daughters well to do, that they have glorious old home life, though the mad things were untrue. Blacks or plains been bare with drought, where years are sown that never grow. On dead grey creeks of dreams and drought, through black riches wastes of weirdest woe, I tramped and came the fierce affair that the seascape came in view. And lo, the home lay smiling bare, though the bad things were untrue. To a pair of bloodshot boots by Henry Lawson. Old acquaintance unforgotten, or maybe ugly brutes. Oh, your levers cracked and rotten, worn no pair of bludger boots. There's a richer man before you with dear levers graces his feet, as a better man that wore you in the tramps through dust and heat. Oft buffed by super snarling, I asked them for a show, on that long tramp to the darling in the days of long ago. Tell me, if you know it, whether, as I saddle tramped away, were heavy on your levers, or no pair of bludgers say. Oh, your levers cracked and rotten, though you may be ugly brutes, I preserve you unforgotten, worn out pair of bludger boots. To an old maid, by Henry Lawson. Old maid, the gusty old weather, and her hopes and our troubles for new, and where you spend and wearing out leather, I found you unselfish and true. I've gathered these verses together for the sake of our friendship and you. You may think for a while and the reason, I was still with a kindly regret, that I've left it for late in the season to prove I remember you yet. You never judge me by the treason, who profit by friends and forget. I remember, old man, I remember, the tracks where they followed are clear. The driver last nights of December, the sun of those days of the year. Long tramps for clearing September, short partings on platform and pier. I can still feel the spirit that bore us, and often the old stars will shine. I remember the last spree in chorus for the sake of what ever long sin. And the tracks lay divided before us, your path for the future and mine. The frost but would cut like whiplashes through the ever blind haste of a drought, and a fancy at times by the flashes of light and the darkness and doubt. I follow the ten pots and ashes of cancer they moved further out. You will find in its page the trace of its side of our past which was bright, recognize sometimes the face of a friend who has dropped out of sight. I send them along in the place of the letters I promised to write. To Hannah, Henry Lawson. Spirit girl to whom it was given the risen scenes of pain. The hell I thought was heaven, you've lifted me again. 
What world could I inherit where loved her she died, and walking with the spirit of a dead girl by my side? For my old possessions only for a very little while, and they say that I am lonely and they pity, but I smile. For the brighter side has won me by the calmness that it brings, and the peace that is upon me does not come of earthly things. Spirit girl, the good is in me, and the flesh you know is weak. If no pure soul to win me, I might miss the path I seek. Lead me by the love you bore me, when you trod the earth of me, to have light is clear before me, my spirit too is free. To Jack, by Henry Lawson. So I've battled it through on my own, Jack. I've done with all dreaming and doped. Both stony tonight and alone, Jack, I'm watching the old year out. I have finished with brooding and fears, Jack, and the spirit is rising in me. For the sake of the old new years, Jack, and the bright new years to be. I have fallen in worldly disgrace, Jack, and I know very well that you heard. I have blackened my name in this place, Jack, and I answered them never a word. But why should a blast or grief, Jack? So narrow and poor we will be, I knew you would never believe, Jack, the lies that were said against me. But it's done which shall never be undone, and I blame not, I blame not my land, but I hear the calling of London, and I long for a roar of a strand. I was all of the same for a race, Jack, you know how vagabond feels. You can fight a straight man face to face, Jack, but you can't keep a curse from our heels. You know I loved woman and drink, Jack, that's how the trouble began. But you know that I never would shrink, Jack, from a deed that was worthy a man. I never was poor to a mean, Jack, and cruel I never could be. I will give you a hand which is clean, Jack, when we meet again over the sea. I will bring a few wrinkles of care, Jack, I've altered a lot, I am told. The sea of flinging shone my hair, Jack, my heart is as young as of old. A faith still in woman and man, Jack, was selfish and blind they may be. I still have my soul in my pen, Jack, and my country seems dearer to me. I will sell when the summer sets in, Jack, and go by to my own native land. I long for a glimpse of your grin, Jack, I long for a grip of your hand. Both suffered sorrow and pain, Jack, and sinned in the days that are done. I will fight the old battle again, Jack, the battle is worth being won. Tomorrow by Henry Lawson you suffering hard for your sins, old man, when you wake to trouble and sleep ill. Or oh, this is the clack of the middle class, and beg the respect of the people. You're weak, you're a fool, you're a drunken brute, and you're deep in trouble and sorrow. But walk down the street in a decent suit, the heads will be off tomorrow. Old chap and the heads will be off tomorrow. The can and the cackle redeem the past, who never had past worth redeeming. Your soul seems dead, but you'll find at last that somewhere your soul lay dreaming. You may stick a donut in a beer stained coat, you may loaf, you may cage and borrow, but walk down the street with a ten pound note. The heads will be off tomorrow, old man. Yes, the heads will be off tomorrow. But stick to it, man, for your old self's sake, or to brood in the past is human. Hold up for the sake of the maid who was true and the sake of the other woman. And as for the rest, you may take off your head and banish all signs of sorrow. You may take the hands, but in spite of wit, can we win your respect tomorrow, old man? Can we win your respect tomorrow? To my friends, Henry Lawson. These are songs of the friends I neglected and the foes to impart. These are songs of the most you rejected and songs from my heart, yours truly. To show what a man can do, Henry Lawson. There has been many a grander deed since man had life to give. And thousands have gone to certain death, eyes open, that men might live. And many have gone for the country's sake, when the numbers were all too few, and bravely died that the maids may die, to show what a man can do. Now this is the song of La Belle, wreck at the harbour of Warnambu. And this is the song of a brave, brave man of a grand old simple school. We all know the force of circumstance, we blame not the lifeboat crew. And this is the song of a fisherman, who showed what a man can do. A single skull in a strong young hand, and his brave young eyes aglow, he shot a skill of a raging hell, a lifeboat dared not go. It was thrice and thrice when he went again, and the lies there were only two, and this the song of the man who knows can show what a man can do. And we need such deeds in this world of ours, lest the hearts of men might fail. Oh, we need such deeds in this world of ours and a man to tell the tale. The eloquent gesture come from wreck, and never word comes through. How oh, we need such deeds in our land today to show what a man can do. And this is a mortal of all that is, and it's only known to two. Put out in your dingy with confidence, 
to show what a man can do. Trouble on with selection, Henry Lawson. You lazy boy, you here at last, you must be wooden legged. No, are you sure the gate is fast and all the slip rails packed, and all the milkers at the yard, the calves all in the pen? We don't want Pony's calf to suck his mother dry again, and you men the broken rail and make it firm and neat. It's suppose you want that brine will steer all night among the wheat. He finds the local parch, he'll stuff his belly full, and eat till he gets blown on that and bust you like Ryan's bull. Out spot is lost, you'll drive him mad, you will upon my soul. She might be in the boggy swamps, or down a digger's hole. You needn't talk, you never looked. You'd find her if you choose, instead of poking possum locks and hunting kangaroos. Or come your boots as wet as muck. You try to drown the ends, and don't you take your blatches of good lord, he's tore his pants. Your father's coming home tonight, you'll catch it hot, you'll see. Now go and wash your filthy face and come and get your tea. Uncle Harry, by Henry Lawson. Oh, never let on to your own true love that ever you drank a drop, and ever you played in a two-up school or slept in a sly rock shop, and ever bad girl nursed you round and ever you sang so low. She pulled you through and it's only you and your old mate Harry now. Billy the Link they called you when, and it makes me sad to think of his strenuous days when it took three cops and pimped to couple the Link. Mr. Linkhurst, they call you now, and your kitchen garden grows, and no one knows in your family but your uncle Harry knows. I'll never let on to your fair young bride how the straight girl stepped your heart with the devilish wire that walks that side we were a world apart. With pick and shovel you fought it out and read the rocker blows. And no one knew in the gang save you but your old mate Harry knows. I'll never let on to your own good wife for tender heart has she, for girl that laughed and for girl that lies in the graveyard there by the sea. It's not for his manners she laughed the cat, it was not for his words or prose, Pity she felt for the country lad, and your uncle Harry knows. The bad girl went where the bad girls go, and they see a dark eyes yet. Good girl left me her broken heart, but they show what her souls have met. The cry of her heart we send not forth, or any wind that blows. You're hiding a sorrow from someone now, but your uncle Harry knows. Unwritten books by Henry Lawson. It always seems the same old story, no matter what ground heights are won. We dive for best work unwritten. We dive for best work undone. Unwritten books, unpainted pictures in millions are beneficent. sun. We dive for great thoughts unpublished. We dive for best work undone. Victor by Henry Laws. And his death came in December when our summer was aglow. Like a song that we remember like a child's dream long ago. And brought Australia to whom her sweetest singer dead. While in silence friends who knew him bowed their heads beside his bed. Angel death comes softly stealing and watchers eyes at him. And when all has failed in healing, wounded heart or helpless limp, if a whisper we may hear not, till the at some respond, and a vision we shall fear not of the peaceful land beyond. While Australians in the blindness fail to realize the loss, place a ref of loving kindness and raise the simple cross. For he taught us to be brothers, he taught us to be brave, to banish pride and envy with a hand clasp by his grave. What have we all forgotten, Henry Lawson? What have we all forgotten at the break of the seventh year, with a nation born to the ages and bad time born on its briar, public robbing and lying the death cannot raise, private strife and deception and cut the bad dead face, drinking, gambling and madness, cover and beget the way, and what have we all forgotten at the dawn of the seventh day? Beasts of the years of plenty, years when the tanks are full, stacked by the lonely sidings, mountains of wheat and wool. Country crowds to the city, health shaven and dressed, clouds the worth of gayest, money to spend with the best. Ground of the lights of cities, calm of kings and power. And what have we all forgotten in this, the eleventh hour? We have brought the states together, land to the lands newborn. We have worked in the glorious river, we have garned and reaped and shorn. We have come from the grass waves, flowing under heaven's electric lamps, making of sordid cities, boys and the camps. We have cleansed the cities and townships, rest frolic and gain. And what have you all forgotten? Have we sent the peace and the rain? Where have you all forgotten here in our glorious home? I, the greater sinner, because I was greater than some. What have you all forgotten so widely from east to west? I am the most ungrateful because I was doubtly blessed. Sinners to self and to country, and saviors of all misunderstood. Let us all kneel for one moment, 
and thank the great spirit for good. When hopes ran high, Henry Lawson, when hopes ran high, the world was young, we thought that we would never die, and glorious were the songs we sung, those grand days when hopes ran high. When hopes ran high, the world was true, we thought that friends could never lie, there's been bitter truth for you and me since days when hopes ran high. When the bush begins to speak by Henry Lawson, they know it's not in England yet, the pens are overbold, we have seen in fancy pictures that are fifty years too old. We think we are a careless race, a childish race and weak. And now as yet in England, and the bush begins to speak, and the bush begins to speak, and the bush begins to speak, and the West by greets invaded, and the bush begins to speak. The leaders which will be the men of self and destiny are not all found in cities that are built by the sea. I learned to love Australia by many a western creek, but now when we are in England, and the bush begins to speak. And the bush begins to speak, then the bush begins to speak, then a whisper greets invaded, and the bush begins to speak. Already for the struggle and waiting for the change, the army of our future lies and can be on the range. Australia, for patriots, will not have far to seek. We are now her yet in England, and the bush begins to speak. And the bush begins to speak, then the bush begins to speak, and a whisper greets invaded, and the bush begins to speak. We we'll find the peace and comfort that our fathers could not find, or some shall strike the good old blow that leaves a mark behind. We we'll find the truth and liberty our fathers came to seek, or that now in England the bush begins to speak. And the bush begins to speak, then the bush begins to speak, and the whisper greets invaded, and the bush begins to speak. When the children come home by Henry Lawson, on a lonely selection vowed in the west, an old woman works all the day before the rest. And she croons as she toils neath the sky's glassy dome, she will keep the old place till the children come home. She mends all the fences, she grubs and she plows, she drives the old horse and she milks all the cows, and she sings to herself as she fetches the stack, she will keep the old place till the children come back. It is fifty very years since her old husband died, and oft as she lay on his death but he sighed, she one man can bring up ten children and he can, and it's strange that ten sons cannot keep one old man. And if scolding old sundowners come and cunningly ask the masters at home, be off, she replied, Blarney and Kent, or call my son Andy, his work can be end. Get out, she replied, for she trembles with fear, she lives all alone and her neighbors are near. But she says to herself, when she's like to spawn, the boys are the work and the paddock beyond. And none of her children need to follow the plow, and some have grown rich in the city or no. Yet she says, the might come with shearing is done, Keep your place if it's only for one. When the Duke of Clarence died by Henry Lawson, and the singing tear choked numbers of the Duke of Clarence went just to make a royal sir rather more preeminent, Lady sighed and sobbed and dribbled till he spoke with bated breath, and the banners floated half mast, made a mockery of death, and the said Australia sorrowed for the prince's death, the light. She had done with kings and princes of the Duke of Clarence died. What's the death in lofty places? What's the noble birth? Say I, to the poor who die in hundreds, as a man should never die. Can we shed a tear saw for royal dance fate? No, for royalty is taught them how to sing the songs of hate, of the sons of grief in Europe and the lands across the tide, there was a growl of revolution when the Duke of Clarence died. We admit us not how lonely or our burdened lives are spent, claim and common with the Clarence straight from Adam or descent. Even the man we call a bastard has a lineage to himself, but he traces not his fathers through the sordid line of Gulab, and perhaps in some forgot in his misery and pride, one of nature's kings was dying when the Duke of Clarence died. And with Burkhold's bloodless fingers and the planet human heave, see the banners of rebellion out of kings and princes thrive. In the cold of northern winter and the southern dust and heat, very workmen preach sedition at the corners of the street. They preeminent in sorrow, this preeminence in check. We shall hear what care and pain is when the slums begin to speak. Hundreds starve to pay the shadow of a crown upon his head. Yellow gold, at last in put hand, of death beside his bed. Perhaps the prince of nature sat despairing by the side of a noble mother starving, and the Duke of Clarence died. A noble living splendid dent, behold the pomp of royal woe. Now the funeral battle hero never yet was buried so. Who and what was he? What has he done to benefit mankind? Has he not to show St. Peter as if a royal race behind? Who is worthy? Who is noble? God shall gold alone decide. 
Better men like dogs were buried than the Duke of Clarence died. Thrones of earth and earthly rulers soon shall all be swept aside, to better for his comfort than the Duke of Clarence died. When the Irish flag went by by Henry Lawson, it was eight hour day and proudly old labor led the way, the drums were bearing loudly the crowded streets of the gay. But something touched my heart like pain, I could not check the sigh that rose from my bosom when the Irish flag went by. Bright flags were raised about it, and one of them had my own, and patriots trod benefit, but it seemed all alone. I thought of a ruined island, the crystals of the sky fell soft like tears by angels shed as the Irish flag went by. I love a dark green standard as Irish patriots do, it waves above the rebels and I'm a rebel too. I thought of Ireland's darkest years, a grease that follow fast, but dropping as drenched with tears the Irish flag went past. And though it was not an errand that my forefathers trod, and though my wandering footsteps ne'er pressed the dear old sod, I felt the wrongs the Irish feel beneath the northern sky, and felt a rebel in my heart when the Irish flag went by. I tell you, men of England, who rule the land by might, I tell you, Irish traitors, who serve as sons of light, the tyranny shall fail at last, the changeful days are nigh, you shall dip your red flag yet, and the Irish flag goes by. When you're bad in your insight, by Henry Lawson. I remark that the man is sad as his heart is filled with woe, and he hasn't any money, and his pants begin to go. And I think I was mistaken, there are many times I find you do not care a can unless your pants are gone behind. For a fellow mostly loses all ambition, hope and pride, and to put the matter mildly, he is bad in his insight. Bobby Burns was down on Tufek, and it troubled him, no doubt. But you know, a man can always have a motor taken out and be all right when, excepting for the duller pain that comes to the hollow of it is lying like a gully in his gums. If you can't extract your innards, they must stay within your height. You've got to moan and cuss it, you're bad in your inside. You don't know what to take for it, you don't know what to do. You're puzzled to remember what has disagreed with you. You lie in all positions, this none will give you ease. You think an aching stomach is the king of agonies. You feel as though your innards in a double knotted height, where the devil ties it tighter when you're bad in your inside. And you send the boy with Harry, and you tell him to be quick, for shillings worth of brandy, poor person was sick. You make him swear to hurry and he goes off like a shot, to wait an hour and suffer the brandy cometh not. And you look out for the window and you swear the bastard's height, the wretch is playing football while you're bad in your inside. And there's mostly some old woman with your aunt or mother too, and it's really quite and isn't how she cross-examines you. She insists on giving physic and will hear of no excuse, and dilates upon your bowels till you wish it to the deuce. You wish it go and leave you, that you be and let it slide, and go about her business with the bed in your inside. She's come to see you through it, and she bustles in and out. She talks of private matters that she oughtn't talk about. She proceeds to pill and dose it, she woes that you'll be ill, Tell you've swallowed every nostrum, castor oil, and rod and pill. You wish, good lord, that she would pass across the striking tide and nurse the gory devil when he's bad in his inside. And the hag is interested, and she bustled out and in, and in the rise disguises gives you nauseous medicine, till she shifted all obstructions and has soothed your keenest pain, or her enemies may leave you a much sicker man again. And she's done her best to help you, for her sympathy is white. Bless the same old woman when you ride in your inside. When your pants begin to go, by Henry Lawson, when you wear a cloudy collar and a shirt that isn't white, and you cannot sleep for thinking how you reach tomorrow night, you may be a man of sorrows, and when speaking terms of care, and as yet be unacquaintance with the demon of despair, rather think that nothing heaps the trouble on your mind like the knowledge that trousers badly need a patch behind. I've noticed when misfortune strikes the hero of a play, and his gloves are worn and tattered in the most unlikely way. And the gods applaud and cheer him, find wines and loves around, and they never seem to notice that his pens are mostly sound. But of course he cannot help it for mirth, would mock his care, if the ceiling of his trousers shot with patches of repair. For none will less hear you if you elevate your chin, and you feel the pavement wearing through the leather sock and skin. You're rather more heroic than an ordinary folk, who's going to fish for pity under cover of a joke. You will face doubtful glass for people that you know, but of course you're bound to face them when your pants begin to go. If, when flushed, you took your pleasures, failed to make a god of pelf, 
Some will say that for your troubles you can only thank yourself. Some will swear you'll die a beggar, but you only laugh at that. While your garments hang together and you wear a decent hat. You may laugh at their predictions while your soul is swearing low, but a man's an awful cold and his pants begin to go. Though the present, the future may be anything but bright. It's best to tell the fellows that you're getting on all right. The man prefers to say it, it is a manly lie to tell. Our folks may be persuaded with you doing very well. But it's hard to be a real and it's hard to work in. And your most important garments is some places very thin. Get some sympathy and comfort from the chum who knows you best, that your soul is wandering over in the presence of the rest. That's the chum that you can go to when you feel inclined to whine. He declare your coat is tidy, he'll say, just look at mine. And you may be patched all over, he will say it doesn't show. Its word can't be noticed when your pants begin to go. But for mine and of misfortune, times are hard, but do not fret. Keep your courage up and struggle, you will laugh at these things yet. For where is no corn in Egypt, surely Africa has some. Keep your smile in working order for the better days to come. We shall often laugh together at the hard times that we know, and get measured by the tailor when our pens begin to go. Now the lady of refinement in the lap of comfort rocked, chancing on these rugged verses to pretend that she is shocked. Leave her to her smelling bottle, this wealth you decide, world should hide its pets neath a cruel look of pride. They think there's something noble, and this worth is nothing low. The pride of human nature and its pens begin to go. When your sins come home to roost by Henry Lawson. And if you the barber's mill when you go to get a crop, on sorrow every morning comes your hair across the top. And to death and you the little things you never used, and as close upon the season your sins come home to roost. Many were the sins of others and you never were to blame. Some were sins of shared and common you must suffer all the same. Some were sins of wasted hours for wine cup or maid. But you cannot share the burden we come and duplicate. We will find the folds are heavy and the claws are sharp and deep. We will bow your head and working, we will jerk you from your sleep. And so many hands are eager just to give your back a boost on the road to wreck and room when your sins come home to roost. But you don't let on their roosting, you take some on the way. Never wine or guzzle and you neither curse nor pray. You will never for an instant let your lower lip be loosed. You would stand up like a soldier when your sins come home to roost. Find a growing light till you find room for a few of the sins of other mortals who have weaker souls than you. And you'll smile and not to sadly get out since you're reintroduced. You'll be a man of many when your sins come home to roost. Who were the beaten colors by Henry Lawson? Who were the beaten colors and she the beaten man? Who were the beaten colors till the time comes again? Where sudden crowds are densest and thicker as the sea. Or were the beaten colours and with them home with me. We closed the bars and gambling dens and vaulted straight and clean. Who and walked the motor cars of whirling round the scene. A port's point vote was one for greed and ease and luxury of all to hold, and cold gold and beaten folk are we. Who were the beaten colours with hands and pockets clean? I wore the beaten colours since I was seventeen. I wore them up and wore them down, out back and across the sea. Who were the beaten colours and with them home with me? I wrote them back from Lady Smith to where the peace was signed, and wore them through the London streets the children was held behind. We wore them to a Queen's Hall while England yelled for wars, and set them over victory where London banged the doors. I wore them from Port Arthur round to Lord sunk in the sea, all over the white man's colours, and with them home with me. I have worn them through with gentlemen, with work slaves and alone, who were the beaten colours, boys, and wore them on his own. There was one who'd look with startled eyes and shrink while I caressed, Came enough of colours for Concord on my breast, and twenty thousand bushmen would stand with hands behind, and scorn on all their faces for the coward of his kind. Who were the beaten colours, and the rays of the voice were droned, and maybe when we march again will be some other sound. Who pin the beaten colours on and drive the beaten pen, and maybe our steel and ink when we march out again. White Spaces by Henry Lawson My last long beer has vanished, and the truth is left unsaid. And each sort cares banished from my chair and from my bed. My calm people sadly murmur, are lost and dead. The man who was denounced the things that I was not, and true souls stand like granite, while the souls of liars not. And the quits I have all counted, and the trace I caged forgot. Shall my spirit see the country, where is a road for once again? Shall I see the old selections on the common street and lane? Shall it pass across a black soil and across a red soil plain? Shall it see the gaunt bushwoman, a slave until she's fitted to drop, 
of distant trip to Sydney all depending on the crop, of the twinkling legs of kiddies running to the lolly shop, shall my spirit see the failures battling west and fighting here, shall it see the dark and shanty of bar room dull and rear, shall it whisper to the landlord to give Bummer Smith a beer, and they let me out of heaven over hella on my own, of the social halls of hates where I shall not be alone, just to bring a breath of comfort to the hells that I have known. Will you write it down for me, by Henry Lawson, in the parlor of a shanty where the lives have all gone wrong, and a singer or reciter gives a story or a song, a poet's heart is speaking to the hearts in every line, to the hardest curse and blubber at the force of all lang soon, then the booze and lurches forward with an outward all disguise, prayers and curses in his soul, and tears and liquor in his eyes. Grasp the singer, reciter the death grip by the hand, if it's the truth, bloke, sing that at him, or gobble me if it was grand. Don't mind me, I've got him, you know. What's your name, bloke, don't you see? What's the block for the route of poetry? Will you write it down for me? And the back blocks, Mark goes through it, ever seeking as he goes, with the line of least resistance to the hearts of man he knows. And he tracks the hearts in mateship, and he tracks them out alone, seeking for the powers to sway them, he finds it in his own. Feels what we feel, loves what we love, learns to hate what we condemn, takes his pen and tears and rhyme, and writes it down for them.